Mmm, great sandwiches, Egon. Yeah. Mmm, what's in them anyway? Simple, really. A basic blend of chemical components that precisely duplicates the vitamins and minerals lost through epidermal elimination. What'd he say? He said they're made of synthetic... sweat. I'll be happy to share the recipe. Mm. Yummy! That's okay, Egon. Yeah, next time I'm hungry, I'll just suck a sock. Socks? Mm. Special delivery for Ray Stance. Thanks, Slimer. <coughs> According to this, my long-lost Uncle Gaylord just passed away. Last time I saw him, I was just a kid. <laughs> Slimer, you've never even met Uncle Gaylord. Oh, yeah. And he willed his joke shop in Queens to me. Wow. Because Ray was my nephew with the worst sense of humor. Hey, I resent that. I have a great sense of humor, right, guys? Uh, huh. Well, I think I'm very funny. <laughs> <laughs> now that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is it, Slimer. Welcome to my very own joke shop. Museum of Gags throughout history. Hey, let's check this one out. Careful, Slimer. No telling what'll pop out. It's really stuck. <laughs> Empty. Oh. Big laugh. Uncle Gaylord was definitely weird. Come on, let's go, Slimer. I can't wait to try some of these gags on the guys, right, Slimer? Yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> Yet. Oh, Janine! Uh, 
Could you come here? Please? I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Ray, where are you? <laughs> Ray? That's weird. <laughs> Funny guys. Hey guys, mind if I get a quick group portrait here, uh, you know, for our uh, album? <laughs> sure, fire away. You got your great sports, huh, Slimer? <laughs> Okay, where is it? Where's what? Uh, we better check that address again. We're dealing with designer phantoms. Yuck. Gaylord's Joke Shop. Gaylord's Joke Shop? I swear I didn't do it. No joke, guys. Don't mention the jokes, okay? Nice going, Ray. Your Uncle Gaylord was right, Ray. You aren't funny. Laughs over, Slimer. No more jokes. Oh, no more jokes. Agreed? 
<laughs> Slimer. Okay, okay. Hey, Slimer, didn't we leave this trap door closed? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What's all that glittery stuff in there? I don't know. Central, Janine. Janine, let me talk to the guys. Sorry, Ray, they're out on a call. Oh, no. Where? The Twin Towers Project downtown. Roy. And I'm telling you guys, we didn't call. There's no problem here. Well, somebody call. <laughs> You fellas go ahead and look around, but I have work to do. Look out! There's something up top! Guys! Wait! Don't go up there! There's Ray. What's he saying? Stop! You're in terrible danger! Probably trying to tell us another dumb joke. Stop! Stop! Ground floor, lingerie. Everybody out. <laughs> now do you guys believe me? Slimer and I have been pulling these pranks. Well, I'd certainly like to know who it is. Imps! Imps? What are imps? <laughs> Bad news. Yeah, they almost did us in, man. Imps are invisible spirits with a dangerous sense of humor. The longer they remain free, the more powerful they become. Then we'd better bag these little buggers fast. But how do you trap something you can't see? With these ecto visors, we can see them just fine. Ghostbusters Central. Hey, this may be them, guys. Ghostbusters, we need... We need your help at the waterfront. That must be the end. Yeah, but this time the joke's on now. Let's roll! Thank <laughs> you. 
thing we forgot. <laughs> What's that? Our swimsuits. Company. Crap out! <laughs> These guys are tough. Break up the power. We didn't trap them, but they're definitely gone. Don't count on it. I'm still getting a high level of spectral activity. I knew it. They're getting ready for another attack. <laughs> Not to worry, troops. We're going to send those yo-yos back where they came from. Peter, our throwers are useless against them. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't say it'd be easy. Wait. The little black box. It's the only way we can trap them. show up, lead him to the joke shop, and Slimer and I'll do the rest. Hold it, Ray. Those imps aren't joking around anymore. Neither am I. Here they come. Gating on us. Aren't going anywhere. Ah! 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 
Decided to sell the shop. After all, jokes really are silly kid stuff. And we're all a little too mature for that, right, guys? Uh. Oh, can we keep the whoopee cushion? <laughs> We now return to the real Ghostbusters. That's terrible. I'll say. Can you imagine what all that wind would do to my hair? Weather experts are baffled as to why the whirlwind has remained fixed to one spot and shows no signs of weakening. This is crazy. A tornado in the middle of Manhattan? Yeah, what's next? Earthquakes? Slimer? But you'd better cut the melon from your diet. I don't think that is a tornado in Central Park. I'll probably hate myself for asking, but why, Egon? Simple, really. Because when you factor in the variables of humidity and barometric pressure, then apply the influence of the jet stream and the... I do hate myself for asking. Egon, you're amazing. What a brain. Even I didn't follow that one. So if it's not a tornado, what is it? Gentlemen, I haven't got a clue but I intend to find out. Wow! And they call Chicago the Windy City! You don't think this tornado's not for real, Egon? Perhaps, but I need a closer look. Careful, Egon. Not too close. It's 
just as I thought. There is no barometric pressure differential. This is not a real tornado. Oh, yeah? You could have fooled me. I'm registering PKE leakage. It's some sort of manifestation. Egon, get out of there. You're too close. I need approximately 17.4 seconds to study these readings. They're unlike anything I've seen before. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Egon! Egon! Stay back. It's too dangerous. Got you, Egon! Slammer, we'll get him back. We will? Not how I think. I don't know yet, Spud. Check it out, guys. We're back in the old neighborhood. Somebody want to tell me how it got dark so fast? Yeah, it's only 3 o'clock. I mean, 2 o'clock. No, 1 o'clock. Hey, there's something wrong with my watch. Hmm, fascinating. Fascinating? There's something weird going on here. Hey, where's Winston? And Slimer. Winston, this is Ray. Do you read? Huh, they must be out of range. Or perhaps... We are. What do you mean? I'm not sure, Peter. Yet. We'd better get back to headquarters. What's wrong with this picture? Hey, Winston! We're home! Yeah. Oh. Disgusting. Fascinating. Egon, will you stop saying that? Sounds like the spud is on a roll. Definitely time to defrost. What in the world? I don't know, but it's coming from the bunk room. Somebody sleeping in my bed. Winston? What? Well, well. Color me speechless. We've got three live ones. <laughs> you just made a big mistake. Your mistake, Ghost Breath. We live here. Yes, again, human. Let's clean the house, boys. They have guns. So do we, nail them. Hey, what the? Input-output chambers are reversed. <laughs> now try our brand. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Hello, Maple Busters. 
people busters. Okay, Egon, explain this one away, and don't say it's fascinating. Well, we can definitely rule out demonic possession. Huh, huh, oh. huh, huh, huh. Hey, guys, look! Welcome to Boo York, the Big Pumpkin. That confirms it. We are in some sort of flipside world, a ghost version of New York City. You mean everybody's dead here but us? So far. Huh. In that whirlwind was a dimensional gate in. Apparently. So where's the nearest gate out? This isn't my kind of town. Yikes! What? what? Uh -huh. uh oh. Better give it up now. Because we ain't afraid of no people. Run, uh, fly, or whatever it is we do now. just disappeared into thin air? Yeah, all gone. But where could they be? Beats me. Egon was picking up a big PKE reading before they vanished. But wherever they went, it's beyond the range of these walkie-talkies. Aw, uh, don't worry, Slimer. We'll find them. Won't we, Winston? When there's something normal in your neighborhood, we can call people <coughs> Hey, great power. Come up here some of that moon tan lotion, doll. Come on, make my love. Uh, can't we talk about this, fellas? No! I guess not! Ah! Egon, Ray's gone! <laughs> One now and two to go. <laughs> Whew, the real Ghostbusters will return after these messages. We now return to the real Ghostbusters. Let me go, you goons! I know some real important ghosts. You'll never hot in this town again! Ray! Wait, Peter. You can't do anything against those weapons. Throw them in the containment unit. I'll throw them so hard he'll bounce. Our own TV show. <laughs> One down and two to This should boost our transmitting power enough to reach the guys wherever they are. Hit it, Janine. Ghostbusters Central to Ghostbusters. Do you read? Over. I'm sorry, but you reached a disconnected dimension. Please try again. Huh. 
now? Where is Egon when you need him? That's what we're trying to find out. You see them? No. But if they're anywhere around, we can spot them from up here. That's it, Egon. No more playing Peter Pan. We are gonna get Ray. Fine. Just let me catch my... Ray! Egon! Whoa! Just a little trim, please. Okay, looky here. And that's your good side, too. Works every time. Oh, my aching ectoplasm. What a night. If I do one more head today, I'll live. This is all the rage with the younger crowd, you know. The flat top. It's very now. No? Okay. Here. The whistle. This is definitely you. Oh, I love it. Rings. Yeah. All right, people. We know you're in here. And we're gonna find ya! <laughs> the right ghost frequency. I do? Yeah. Touch the transmitter again. Yeah. Jane? Winston? Can you hear me? Oh, Peter. We hear you loud and clear. We hear you too, Peter. Hello, Peter. Ray? Egon? You guys all right? Yeah, so far. But you've got to get us out of here. We seem to be in some sort of containment unit. It sounds horrible. Actually, it resembles a rather pleasant Earth environment. I don't believe you, Egon. Giving commercials for this place? It's the pits. Everything here is the exact opposite of the real world. The opposite? Listen, if everything there is reversed, then that containment unit just might be the doorway back to the real world. Peter, you have to let yourself get captured. What? It's definitely a plausible theory. Egon, is that the same as a sure thing? No. Oh. 
I didn't think so. Yo, people busters! Here I am! Ray, this is the exact form of energy I found in that Central Park Twister. And this could be our ticket home! Precisely. Whoa! You okay, Peter? If you call being slimed by three ghost goons and thrown into a containment unit fine, then yes, I've had a great day. Who are they? More of Boo York's accidental visitors. They're leaving with us. Sooner the better. Where's the nearest exit? Right there. Let's do it! Winston, our exit's locked tight. That's okay. You guys have the key. Your throwers. In this simulated reality, there's a chance they may work. All oh, right, it's working. Ah, it's nice having things back to uh, normal again. <laughs> yeah, peace and quiet. Quiet. No! The containment's been breached. Solid bodies are escaping. Back? It sure looks like New York. But is it New York? Ah! Move it! <laughs> it's New York. Yeah! You made it! Welcome back, good buddies. <laughs> yep, we are definitely home. <laughs> Ghostbusters will return after these messages. We now return to the real Ghostbusters.
We now return to the real Ghostbusters. Stirring up the chickens, Maud. Just said easy, Z. I'll take a look, see. Here, chip, 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 chip. Hmm, must be here in the coop. <laughs> What's got you girls so darned upset? There a coyote sneaking around? <laughs> Everything okay out there, Maud? What? What? Maud? Where's Maud? the weather balloon bit for a minute. Phew. Ah. <coughs> uh. Uh. It's your night to take out the trash. <coughs> and Winston's in the kitchen doing your dishes. Oh, boy! <laughs> Egon! Be with you in one minute, 53 seconds. <laughs> what? Thanks, Slimer. I really needed that. Oh, sorry. Hey, Egon, the phone? In a minute, Ray. Never mind, Egon. Wouldn't want you to strain yourself. Ghostbuster Central. My wife, Maud, a giant chicken, ate her, and my popcorn. Calm down. Now, where are you? We'll be right there. Hey, you ready for this one? Some farmer says his wife was eaten by a, a giant chicken. <laughs> hey, even a half-baked false alarm sounds better than doing Egon's chores. Ugh. Let's roll. I think I finally perfected it. Watch this, guys. Guys? Had big blood red eyes, it did. Biggest dang chicken I ever seen. Maybe six feet tall. Well, shouldn't be hard to find. Did it have any distinguishing marks? Ray, it's six feet tall. Thank you, sir. We'll put out a missing chicken report right away. <laughs> Old Zeke's been watching too many horror movies and eating too much greasy popcorn. Now, wait a minute, Peter. I think we're dealing with a... a... a were chicken. A were chicken? Oh, get serious, Ray. I am serious. Look. Slimer, stop playing around. Winston! What did I tell you, Peter? A were chicken egg. Give me a hand, Winston. Sure, Ray. Easy. Easy now. Look, if this is a were chicken egg, how come there's no PKE reading? Hmm. I don't know. That is strange. Let's get it back to headquarters and run some tests. Then maybe we'll have some answers. 
Oh, no. I'm not leaving. The were chicken that laid this egg has got to be around here someplace. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> okay, you guys can waste your time in the toolies. I'll take the egg. Come on, Slimer. Uh, uh. Where chickens? Oh boy. Yo, balloon man, we got some real work for you. How about analyzing this? Interesting. That's the second largest egg I've ever seen. Second largest? Yeah, there's the first. Mm. Good night, guys. Hmm, fascinating. Yeah, fascinating. Rate's getting pretty late. Maybe there really isn't any. Shh. It's in there. Then let's get it. Man, this place is creepy. It's in here. I can feel it. Look out! Maybe Peter's right. Maybe there aren't anywhere. Something's close. Very close. It is a weird chicken! Man, he is ugly! Bad choice of words, Winston! Nail him! Crap out! Hang on! That's it! That takes care of one wear chicken. Now to find a six-footer that ate Zeke's wife. Ray, I just had a thought. What if that six-foot wear chicken is Zeke's wife? I don't have time to examine this egg tonight. I have to prepare for my weather balloon demonstration tomorrow morning. Huh. But it'll be safe in here. Yeah. Oh, good night, Don. Good night, Slimer. Uh. Ah. Ah. 
Key gun? Well, Slimer, I don't see anything here that looks like a monster. Uh-oh. Please be Egon. Holy cow! <laughs> the real Ghostbusters will return after these messages. We now return to the real Ghostbusters. What did you do to Egon, you bird brain? Peter, wait! Hey! What's wrong with you guys? That thing ate Egon! Peter, that is Egon! The egg hatched, he was bitten, and now he's a whale chicken! You're kidding! Come to think of it, there was a certain resemblance. What happened? He's so quiet all of a sudden. It's the moon! Where chickens only appear during a full moon. And for the next few minutes, there won't be a moon. Egon? Ray, what is going on? And why am I nearly naked? Egon? <laughs> we have some good news and some bad news. <sighs> bad news first. You've been turned into a where chicken. A where chicken? Let's see. Hmm. Where aardvarks, where bears, where chickens. Anyone the were chicken bites will turn into another were chicken. That egg Peter brought in, it hatched and. Yes, I remember the bite very clearly. How long will I stay like this? According to this, there is an antidote. But we gotta move fast. That cloud won't hide the moon for long. Here we are, all this stuff. One tablespoon paprika. Paprika. One clove garlic. Garlic. Some parsley for color. Parsley. Huh? Cup of gelatin. I don't feel well. Take it easy, Egon. You're gonna be fine. Oh. Free it up, guys. And one tablespoon of chicken bang. Then we gotta go with this. Come on! Come on, Ray, he's changing again. Quick, you got it. Drink this. Oh. We're too late. What happened? The potion only partly worked because of the missing chicken bane. Well, we have to do something. Don't get your feathers ruffled, Peter. There's a logical solution to every pr 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 problem. <laughs> what was that? The were chicken that bit Egon. It's still out there somewhere. Let's stop that thing before it makes drumsticks out of anyone else. Uh, no offense, Egon. All quiet on the chicken front. How about down there? Not a peep. No pun intended. I think we found our bird. It's in there. A big chicken. It's got to be 10 feet tall. 10 feet tall? Maybe 15. I don't know. Big. I'm out of here. How could we lose a 15-foot tall chicken? Ah! We didn't. Come on. Let me out of here. <clears throat> a giant chicken just came through here. Had to be 30 feet tall. 30 feet tall? Yeah. Look what it did to those cars. It's how big? Okay, Ray, I admit you were right about these rare chickens, but I definitely don't buy them growing to the size of buildings. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> ah! Allow me to rephrase that last statement. 
Ray, you were right. The chicken's here, and he's a walking high ride. <laughs> On our way, Peter. <laughs> What happened? Uh, it's a long story, Janine, but uh, could you get my coat, please? I, I'm due at the weather board in uh, 45 <laughs> minutes. But what? Oh, never mind. Are you sure you want to go to a meeting like this? Trust me. I'm of sound mind, at least. <laughs> 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 It's heading down 34th towards the Empire State Building. Check. We're almost there. Come on, Ray. We've got him cold this time. Well, let's warm him up. Take over, Slimer. Let's reel him in. Somebody forgot the Indian. Well, whose job was it? Egon. Egon. It's gonna blow! Peter, get out of here. Guys, Peter, that's not a bad idea. Chicken freezes at very low temperatures. Yeah, but how do you freeze a 50-foot chicken in August? Egon's weather balloon. Distinguished members of the weather board, my weather balloon has the capability of entering the upper atmosphere where cloud formations occur. There, it can electronically alter uh, weather conditions and produce sun, rain, or <laughs> snow. Well, I, uh, uh, I can explain this. Can we freeze that big chicken with your weather balloon? Yes, but I'm afraid you'll have to work the controls. Hmm, piece of cake. What's it doing? It looks like it's about to land. I don't want to hear it. All right, Peter, the balloon is in position. Turn the lever to the extreme left. Please, Mod. 
Uh, let me guess. More chicken bean soup. I'm actually starting to like it. No more wear chicken problems for us, eh, Egon? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Uh-oh. It came from the lab. It's just Slimer grooving to his new soul tape. The real Ghostbusters will return after these messages. We now return to the real Ghostbusters. guys. <sighs> Spring is in the air. Oh, uh, yeah. And most of it's gone right up my sinuses. <coughs> Hay fever again, Peter? Every spring, Egon. <coughs> Every spring. <coughs> Spot, do the world a favor. Put your hand over your mouth when you sneeze, okay? <coughs> Half as sorry as I am, Spud. Looks like we're here, guys. The Central Flower Market. Uh, <laughs> over here, Ghostbusters. Where's the ghost? It's right down there, third aisle. What's it look like? Like a bouquet with a bad attitude. Swell. Just what I need. More pollen. Let's wrap this up fast, guys. These flowers are... Uh, <laughs> They're killing my hay fever. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. My pleasure, Spud. Come on, guys. Yeah, let's go.
are you, man? Ah, phew. Gotcha. Thanks, Winston. Ah, phew. There's got to be an easier way to catch ghosts. Sure. Like what? I don't know, like uh, a ghost attractor. <laughs> well, think of it, guys. We could sit right in our air-conditioned office and bring the nasties in without lifting a finger. <laughs> or a hanky. Yeah, but that wouldn't be any fun. Besides, Peter, attracting ghosts with a machine is scientifically impossible. Have you ever tried, Egon? Well, no, but... Well, then I'd say it's possible, and I'm gonna prove it. And make a million bucks doing it. Wow, a million bucks! Is that a lot of money, Peter? <laughs> it sure is, but a whole lot. think guys wow fantastic what is it what is it this is my ghost attractor you're just in time for the test run now stand back we're about to start catching ghosts in the privacy of our own home Slimer, you're a ghost do you feel anything yet <laughs> Hey, well, uh, it probably needs a little adjusting. Oh, hold on a sec, guys. We'd better take a rain check, Peter. Where to, Janine? Right there. It flew in through the front door. Weirdest thing I ever saw. Not weird, Janine. Scientific. That spirit is here courtesy of Dr. Peter Venkman's ghost attractor. And you said it wouldn't work. Shame on you. There's no logical or scientific reason that it should work. Well, it does, and this baby's going to make us millions. Oh, boy, millions! <laughs> That's a lot. Trap that puppy. <laughs> this doesn't prove anything, Peter. It's just pure coincidence. I don't know, Egon. Looks like we've got some more coincidences. Huh? What? Gentlemen, I rest my case. Figured it out yet, Egon? No. It's too unscientific. It has egg beater parts, a woofer and a tweeter from an old stereo, and if I look closely, I'm sure I'll find a hairpin and a wad of bubble gum. Let's see. I like that and that and, uh, oh, that over there. Uh, give me five of those and a couple of nice Hawaiian shirts to go with them. Peter, where are you getting the bread for all this stuff? Credit cards, my man. Buy now, pay later. My ghost attractor is going to make us all very, very rich. Who ordered the tanning bed and the compact disc player? As if I didn't know. Yo, that's me. It is definitely performing some kind of bizarre function. I just can't figure out what. Egon, Egon, Egon. No need for professional jealousy here. It works, period. End of sentence. Peter, until I can get a reading off your machine, it's all just coincidence. A coincidence we can all live with. I can't help it if I'm a genius. Huh? Sir? Hmm. <laughs>
Man, this has got to stop. We haven't even had lunch yet. And we're running out of space in the containment unit. Peter! Peter, you've got to turn it off! Yeah, business is too good. So, you admit it works? Of course not. That's okay. I proved my point. I'll just shut it off. No more ghosts. Nada. Zip. Zero. I turned my machine off. Why don't they go away? Don't ask me. You're the ghost expert. <clears throat> A little quiet, please. I'm Dr. Peter Venkman. I'd like to thank you all for coming, but uh, we're not seeing any more ghosts today. If you'd like to leave your name and picture with Miss Melnitz here... Close the doors! <sighs> you speak their language, Spud. Go mingle and find out what they want, okay? Oh, uh, do I have to? Yes. Okay. Micron, a mindless force that awakens every thousand years to replenish its energy by devouring other ghosts. Yeah, bad news. The more ghosts Micron consumes, the higher his temperature rises. Most of the world's great deserts, the Sahara, Gobi, Death Valley, are the results of Micron's past visits. This time, he picked New York. And all those ghosts outside are looking for a place to hide. Sure. If you're a ghost, our containment unit's the safest place in town. You mean my ghost attractor had nothing to do with this? I'm afraid not, Peter. Micraw. Due west. You got it. Yeah. Left 30 degrees, Peter. You sure about this, Egon? We're headed back toward the city. So is Micraw. Take us down for a closer look. We've got bad news and terrible news. Bad news first. We couldn't stop Micra. And the terrible news? We're going to get another chance at it. Because it's headed straight for us. And according to my calculations, it should arrive precisely at midnight. So how do we stop this thing from turning New York into the great American desert? Hey, 
Sparky feeds on ghosts, right? Right. So, let's leave a trail of ghosts and lead them out to sea. Great idea. And we sure have enough ghosts to go around. Sure you want to go on this run, Top Spud? <laughs> got the ocean behind us, do your thing. More traps, bud. Change direction again, Egon. Egon, me cross change direction again. And here he comes. Peter, we're down to one slim chance. Concentrate all our firepower and hope it will stop him. Lead me cross to us. We'll be waiting at the old Hudson River Pier across from the Jersey Shore. Just think of yourself as a ghost in a tractor. On our way! Steady, Winston! Attention, Egon. He's coming your way. End of the line. Everybody out. Don't fire till you see the red of its eye. Stand by. something I don't know.
Next time, I take the train. It's only a few blocks back and moving fast. He's not interested in snacks. He wants the whole enchilada. Our containment unit. I don't think we have enough science to beat this one, guys. Here's one piece of scientific <clears throat> equipment we haven't tried yet. That thing again? Egon, this is no time for another one of your cheap shots. I'm serious, Peter. I finally figured out what you built here. Quite remarkable, really. You nearly created the world's first ectoplasmic energy capacitor. Excuse me? I only had to make a few simple modifications, and now it collects and stores energy from any ghost near it. There's been hundreds of ghosts near it. 1,612, to be exact. Therefore, it should be storing an enormous amount of spirit energy right now. All it needs is something to trigger it, and all that energy will be released in one big surge. Egon. I built it. I'll take the risk. It's all yours, Dr. Venkman. Hey, you, Sparky! Come and get it! So much for getting rich. Well, actually, this device could be a very valuable tool in the future. Really? Absolutely. We'll just use your notes to build another. Notes? Ugh. What notes? Oh, no! Well, look at the bright side, Peter. At least you stopped sneezing. Hey, you're right. I must be cured. Yeah, me too! All thanks to my machine. See, Slimer, you can do anything as long as you do it scientifically. Oh. <laughs> 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 Definitely a class five, and it's in the elevator shaft. 
not for long. <laughs> Boy, sounds like he enjoys his work. Heads up, here it comes. Let's give it a warm welcome, boys. This is your floor, sucker. work guys another case closed Paul. My pleasure, Janine. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. I'd like you to meet Paul Smart, president of Gross Jack Industries. Paul, these are the Ghostbusters. Egon, Ray, Winston, and Peter. <coughs> <laughs> oh, and Slimer. It's an honor to meet you, gentlemen. Same here. Gross Jack Industries. You're in that brand new high-rise off 40th, right? Yes, it's nothing fancy, but we call it home. Huh. And what do you call that? Your jalopy? Egon. Ghostbusters Mobile. On our way. We've got another one, guys. Hey, what can I say? When you're the best, you get no rest. Oh, dump this ghost in the containment chamber, will you, Janine? Sure thing. Excuse me while I take care of this. <coughs> I'll only be a minute. <coughs> Darn dry throat. <coughs> Could I trouble you for some water? <coughs> well, of course. What do you mean they moved the meeting up? All right, I'll be there. Something wrong? I'm afraid so. They need me back at the office. Big emergency. Oh. Sorry to run, but I'll call you. Mm -hmm. guys. Still no word from Paul, huh? Mm-mm. It's been three weeks. Oh, Paul Janine. Ghostbusters Central. Paul! Um, what can I do for you? Janine, I'm sorry I haven't called, but I'd like to make it up to you by inviting you and your associates to a press conference. My company's introducing the latest technology in ghostbusting. But ghostbusting is our field. Exactly why you and your friends should find this most interesting. Thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen. Now, without further ado, I give you the future of Ghostbusting. From Gross Chuck Industries, Robobuster X1. Ah! 
looks like some kind of silly promotional stunt. <laughs> silly is right. I am RoboBuster, a fully automated mobile ghost eradication unit. Oh, brother. I am armed with 600,000 volts of proton speed firepower and 20 megabytes of onboard memory. Wow! What kind of a joke is this? A bad one. Yeah, a bad one! My energy sensors have an effective radius of five miles. I am every ghost's nightmare. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> that tin can really takes itself seriously. Now, since seeing is believing, RoboBuster will make believers out of all of you. Hey, that's one of our traps. But how did Paul get it? <laughs> and that's our ghost. Yeah, our ghost. Oh my gosh, Paul must have stolen it from the office. You are an unauthorized entity. Stand fast. Cool move, Metal Mouth. You let it get away. Don't worry, Peter. We'll take care of it. How did he do that? <laughs> Go ahead, Spook. Give it your best shot. Wow! Fascinating. Run them all. Thank you, Robo Buster. Just a second. That's impossible. I beg your pardon? Your machine violates a basic principle of ectoplasmic physics. Non-corporeal entities cannot be destroyed. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen the future. Here is the past. The Ghostbusters. Dinosaurs of Ghostbusting. Hey, I'll show you a dinosaur, pal. Whoa, Peter. Temper, temper, boys. You, you slime ball. Hey! <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I actually liked that low life. Hey, take it easy, kiddo. He fooled all of us. I still say it's impossible to destroy spirits that way. The kinetic energy buildup would be enormous. The flux in the etheric continuum will increase geometrically to dangerous proportions. Yeah, and I hate that. What did he say? He says if that robot takes over, we're in deep dog food. Mention it, pal. Wow, you're the one to give your autograph. As a gesture of my appreciation, please accept these free eight by ten glasses. This offer void where prohibited. There's something about that robot's blaster that bothers me. Maybe the fact that it's putting us out of business. No, there's something else. Hey, get a load of this. Quick, tape it. No hold to you. Right too small. Don't contain those ghosts. Vaporize them all with Rumble Buster. I'm not afraid of any ghosts. Do the job the modern way. We call Rumble Buster today. That does it. That creep can't get away with this. Janine, where are you going? To settle the score with Paul Smart. Yeah, yeah, I will go turn it down the score.
Janine, how'd you get in here? Don't worry, Paul. We won't steal anything the way you did from our office. Well, perhaps I did use hasty judgment, my dear, but... No. What you used was me to swipe the Ghostbusters' secrets. And I'm going to expose you for the thief you are. Then I suggest you get out before I have you escorted out and take that thing with you. You are an unauthorized entity. Stand fast! Please step aside, ma'am. This is official business. This was the Spud's last meal. Not necessarily. There's a high probability that Slimer's essence is still present somewhere in our space-time continuum. You mean he could still be alive? Or whatever he was before? Yes, but not in the form we knew him. Then how do we find him and put him back together? I can't answer that, Janine. But I suspect Paul Smart could. What we need are the designs for RoboBuster's blaster circuits. Then we can figure out how to reverse the process and bring Slimer back. Well, I hope you're right, Ray. I'm getting an unusually strong reading due east of here. Forget it. Let RoboBuster handle the ghosts, and we'll take care of Mr. Smart. No way, Janine. Robot or no robot, we're still the Ghostbusters. Yeah, let's win this one for Slimer. Which way, Egon? Straight ahead. Now turn right, 30 degrees. No, no, to the left. Strange, now the signal is behind us. Stop the car, Winston. Uh, Egon, you want to give us a hint? Uh, are we getting warm or what? Whatever it is, it's all around us. What is this thing? It's precisely what I feared. The etheric continuum has reached critical mass. That's bad, right? Right! All those ghosts that RoboBuster supposedly destroyed are right there in one humongous ghost. And Slimer's in there, too. Stand back, please. Drive safely. Right. We wouldn't want to scratch the paint. All right, smart. We want those robot blaster designs. 
which you stole from us anyway. Give it up, people. RoboBuster's been working perfectly and nothing terrible has happened. Then how do you explain that? You see, Mr. Smart, you can't destroy spirits. You can only contain them. Well, I'm sure <clears throat> RoboBuster will prove you wrong. There he is now. I say he could use a little help. Okay, lady and gentlemen, power up. I order you to stop. You are, you are, you are, you are. The entity has possessed RoboBuster. I want Paul Smart. Take a number, man. There are a lot of people ahead of you. Halt! Halt this, Buster. Thing off with our throwers? True, but if we had his power and ours, I'll need your proton packs. I'm going to convert the robot's throwers into negative ionizing ones. He means he's making RoboBusters throwers like ours. Egon, this isn't going to hurt Slimer, is it? Not if I can help it. <laughs> Gentlemen, shall we? An unlawful entity is nearby. Incredible. How does he know this stuff? from all sides. We can't concentrate our fire. Allow me. Setting. Call him and he can ride the proton stream out. Now! Slimer! Look for the beam! Go for it, Spud! Let's put this puppy to bed!
Have a good evening. Well, I guess you have hard after all. A lot more than Paul Smart ever had. I just love what you've done with your car, Paul. Trying to make your getaway, huh? <laughs> How about a ride, Mr. Smart? It's hard work being a dinosaur, catching all those ghosts. On second thought, thanks for the lift, Mr. Smart. But we'd rather walk. to go. And we make it look so easy, don't we? Maybe too easy. Uh, Ray, is there something bothering you? I don't know, Peter. Guess I'm just getting a little bored with the job. Bored? What? You just spent the last two hours running around with a proton accelerator on your back, chasing down a bunch of grossed-out goopers for the city of New York, and you're bored? What gives? I'm tired of chasing all these little class twos and threes. Remember the good old days? Stay puffed? The Sandman? We haven't seen a major manifestation in months! Oh, brother. Ray, I for one am perfectly content to let sleeping ghosts lie wherever they may be. Annoying beings. Yes, oh great Ghostmaster. Why are there only two of you? Where are the others? Missing in action, your maleficence. Yes, they were captured by the Ghostbusters. I've had enough of those pests. It's time I took care of them. Once and for all. Spirits, I have summoned you because you are my best bounty hunters. Oh, 
I have an important job for you. I want the Ghostbusters brought to me. Alive. The one to accomplish this will be greatly rewarded. The two who fail will be dealt with severe. I said, alive. Now go. Hey, cheer up, Ray. Yeah, cheer up, Ray. Every day can't be a class A. Yeah, thank goodness. I know, guy. It's just I wish the excitement level around here would pick up a little, that's all. Where is that? Whoa! Let's find out! What in the world? I don't think it's termites. <laughs> Not quite, Ray. In the old days, the ghost didn't come barging into headquarters. Peter's right. This wasn't merely a haunting. It was an ambush. But that's ridiculous. Wow! This must be our lucky day! Maybe we hit it. I don't think so. Man, I don't like this. me paranoid, but I'm starting to think somebody's out to get us. Us? We don't have any enemies. Yeah, everybody loves the Ghostbusters. You know it. Ghosts don't. Huh? Are you saying something supernatural is out to get us? Oh, that's great! Yeah, terrific. We'd better get back to headquarters and beef up security. No telling what's next.
How's the new security camera working, Janine? Well, it's not exactly primetime programming, but no way is any ghost gonna sneak up on us. Yep, that's the Ghostbuster motto. Always alert. Yes, may I help you? Everything's getting humongous. No, it's us. We're shrinking. Having a small problem, Ghostbusters. <laughs> You'd rather be back in that glass beach ball? Let's get out of here. Yeah. Set us down here, Slimer. Everybody out! Slimer, help Janine find a spell that will restore us to normal. Tell her to look in the big red book of ancient spells. Okay, Egon, why couldn't Slimer have just flown us back to the firehouse? Because any creature powerful enough to shrink us is powerful enough to track us, and we don't dare lead him back to Janine and Slimer before they find a counter spell. That's exactly what I was thinking. Any luck with the radio, Winston? You kidding? At this size, anything farther than a half a block is out of range. But if that ghost is tracking us now... Right. We should be running. 
Yes, and since the firehouse is that way, we should go this way. Oh, fly? No, walk! Come on, Ray. No way am I going out on that thing. Where are they? Ray is really enjoying this, isn't he? The man loves his work. If I get out of this alive, uh, I promise I'll never tell another short joke. <sighs> Come on, Peter. I'm taking my time, Ray. I don't want to miss any of this great scenery or become part of it. No! Great, just great. Back off, bird. This guy thinks I'm lunch. Whoa! 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 Go suck some worms, pal, and leave us alone. Yay! Guys, over here! None of my clothes fit anymore, my social life is shot, and I feel like the bottom of a birdcage. Easy, Peter. We're all a little upset. Don't say little. Trust me, guys. I know what I'm doing. What's that? Trouble! Fun yet, Ray? All right, I admit it isn't going exactly the way I thought. <laughs> That's a load off. Oh, Slimer. All these old magic spells are Greek to me. Yeah, me too. We'll just have to try them all until we find the right one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Good idea. Okay, here goes. E pop, relic, nut ah! Definitely not that one. Uh, we're gonna drown, Ray. Drown in yuppie water. I have a plan. Everyone, kick hard. Start fizzing this stuff up. Uh, uh. Man, you call that a plan? Uh, it's our only chance. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, Come on, guys, uh, hurry! Uh, 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 now, if we all aim for the cap and fire together, the pressure from the carbonation should blast us out of here. Question. How come we're not dead? This small, we're nearly weightless, like ants. Falls don't hurt so much. Uh. Speak for yourself. Wow, who are you guys? Shh, we're the Ghostbusters. Jackie, who are you talking to? The Ghostbusters. That's nice, dear. Find them now. So, it's a matter of life and death that we get out of here. Will you help us? Sure. Then we better get a move on, because company's coming. May we borrow that? You bet. What are you going to do with it? There's the firehouse. The wind is taking us right to it. Good, because we sure can't keep running. We've got to make a stand. You're right, Winston. 
And with any luck, Janine and Slimer should have located the proper spell by now. Aren't we forgetting something? How do we get down? Simple. We shoot the balloon. Is this a science thing, Ray? Please tell me this is a science thing. Yeah. Where'd you learn this trick, Ray? In a comic book. I'll get you for this, Ray. Just a minute, Slimer. Xlex Booble. Roots B Perlustrator. Buffona. Pangendrum. Goldfoosh Big Widgeon. Wooby Nutnik Rocktator. Oh, oh no! Oh, I'm not cut out for this. Egon, where are you when we need you? Egon? Slimer said you were small, but I thought he meant, you know, small. Did you find the spell? I found a hundred spells, but not the right one. Then we'll have to find it now. Yenta Tertius Godens. Hey, how about this one? Askudnaki Snollygoster. Wow! Lupus in Fabula, Gramat I cast. <laughs> hey, Egon, look at this one. This could be it. Megurist, Mix Oxine, Mopimus. That's Monsimus, Ray. Right. I hope you've had enough adventure to last you a lifetime, Ray. Yeah, you know, I really have. Time to take it easy. Kick back. Yeah, that's good, Ray. Hear me, Ghostbusters. You've won this time, but you haven't seen the last of me. I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh, boy. Let him come. We're ready for him, aren't we, guys, huh? Guys? You think that guy will get his own show?
Soon as you dump them, we'll call it a day. I want to close up before the rain hits. You got it. Hey, you! This place is the worst! Must be enough chemicals in here to start World War III! Believe me, Slimer, I got a feel for these things. This is it. The year Ecto's gonna win the classic car show. <laughs> but she's gotta be perfect, which means no eating in the car. No problem, Owen. Janine? Some sort of ghost in the East Side Auto Salvage Yard. Hold it! I just cleaned the carpet, so check your boots. Yep, they're on my feet. So are mine. Likewise. Real funny, guys. And watch your fingerprints on the window, okay? Oh, man, all over my new wax job. Does that mean we can put our feet down now? I'm telling you, Ghostbusters, it was the most terrible thing I ever saw. It came roaring right up out of the waste pit. Waste pit? Yeah, this big pond of plop out back, where we dump old motor oil, antifreeze, the brake fluid, you know, stuff like that. You mean toxic waste. It was a big, ugly blob of a thing, glowing, you know, you know real bright-like. And I'll never forget his eyes. Pure hate! How would you feel if you lived in a toxic waste dump, pal? Let's roll. You know, this place has a lot of history. Yeah, some of these old cars date back to the 50s. No, I mean real history. The Manhattan Indians used to live around here. I'm kind of glad they can't see it now. Man, this is a crime, polluting the land like this. I'm getting a weak reading. Probably just spectral residue from whatever was here earlier. Looks like ecto slime. It is, and it has an unusually high reading. I'd guess a class seven or better. foot ladder. Spud, how'd you like to help us locate this turkey? M me? It's really a simple task, Slimer. Just fly this meter up to the top and watch the needle. It'll tell you if you're getting warmer or colder. But if the reading gets too high, hustle your buns back here fast. Understand, Spud? Like a bullet when Be careful, Spud! Stop 
you covered, Spud. the meter is useless with all this lightning. The air is too ionized to get a reading. Oh, I really hate it when a ghost gets away. Yeah, me too, Ray. Same here, but without a meter, we don't stand a chance of finding that goober. Whew, let's go. I hear a warm shower calling. Be sure and wipe your muddy feet, guys. I just, just clean, clean the, the carpets. carpets. Lightning must have messed up the electrical system. Nah, poor Ecto's probably just choking on too much wax and chrome polish. That a girl. Sounded good again. By this time tomorrow, we'll be driving home from that car show with the first place trophy. Phantom Slimer? Where is it? There! Here, door! Nasty Phantom! <laughs> Look, little buddy. There's nobody here but us. Must have been your imagination. Hey, I didn't leave Ecto Park like this. Slimer, you haven't been driving Ecto, have you? Uh-uh, no way, Winston! Okay, very funny, guys. Who turned Ecto around? Winston, we haven't touched Ecto. Yeah, though turning old hearses around in narrow garages used to be my hobby. But I gave it up. Too much stress. Well, somebody's sure been messing with her. I don't believe this. Now she's back the right way. Winston, perhaps you're taking this car show too seriously. Yeah, man, lighten up. Winston, why? He is? See? Slimer saw it too. Hold that thought, Winston. 
Right now, duty calls. And something really weird is going on. Come on, baby, don't start this again. Winston, what are you doing? I didn't stop, she did. You mean Echo applied her own brakes? That's exactly what I mean. The brakes won't work! I, uh, I can't control her! some sort of demonic possession. Power up, guys! Okay, that cinches it. Fire at will! Wait, hold it, hold it! That's our Ecto out there, guys. Easy, Ecto, easy, old girl. I don't think that's such a good idea. It's me. Winston, remember? Echo, no! Ow! Hold your fire! You might hit Winston! This is not a good sign. Oh no! We're too late! Poor Winston. Ecto got him. No, it didn't. Winston! here wait we can't let ecto roam around wild she's dangerous ray's right we have to neutralize her yeah she's got to be destroyed oh no poor ecto <laughs> electrical force field. Our throwers are useless. Like I said, let's get out of here. Ecto-1. You're kidding! Nope. She's possessed. By that same spirit we chased in the salvage yard. Oh my gosh! What are you gonna do? I think I got something. Remember I said that salvage yard used to be Indian land? Well, listen to this. The Manhattan Indians believed in an earth spirit 
who lived below ground and protected their lands from evil. Are you saying that ugly phantom at the wrecking yard used to be a sweet, lovable earth spirit? What in the heck happened to him? Like I said, try living in a toxic waste dump. Of course, it's a mutation. Right, and that toxic waste turned him ugly in more ways than one. Janine, we need to borrow your car. Oh, no. Remember what happened the last time you borrowed my car? Ah, uh, that was an accident. We'll be even more careful this time. Be nice to her. That should make Janine happy. These are Ecto's tracks, all right. But look at the size of them. Are you telling me Ecto's getting bigger? Looks that way. So now that we have a 10-ton hearse with a nasty attitude running loose, how do we stop it? We know our blasters don't work against her. Anyone have a solution for this little problem? Not yet. I have an idea. Just might be crazy enough to work. We've got to lure Ecto back to the salvage yard. Then, try to get her in close to that big crane. Whoa! There she is! Right behind us! Look at the size of it! Well, the luring part's working great, Winston. What's the rest of your plan? I'll fill you in on the way. Move out and wait for my signal. Station one, already here. Station two, same here. Okay, guys, that's a go. Hang on! Heads up, Winston, we're on our way. I see you. Switch on. Disrupting the Phantom's electrical field, leaving it vulnerable. Pour it on, guys. We've got him. Yeah. And we're not going to. Peter, cease fire. 
see, he's changing for the better. Well, I'll be. Why have you spared me? Because you aren't the problem. We are. We are? It's humans who are dumping poisons into the ground and oceans. We just got caught in our mess. Now you've got your work to do, and we've got ours. Unless we start changing things, we're all going to be in a world of trouble. Thank you, Ghostbusters. All right. Way to go, Winston! The I thank you, and Ecto thanks you. Guess what, guys? Old Ecto and I aren't through yet. There's another car show in New Jersey next month, and we're going to win that one, too. Which means no dirty feet, no fingerprints on the glass, no more eating in the car slammer, and no more slamming the door. My baseball. I know I put it in here, but it's gone. Yeah, well, I have a bigger problem. Anyone seen the mates to these? What's going on here? A garage sale? Peter, our stuff keeps disappearing. <laughs> oh, you guys. Just admit it. You're always losing stuff. Huh? Slimer! Lose something, Peter? No. Slimer stole my food. Slimer isn't even here. Oh, so my sandwich and milk just got up and caught a cab. Maybe. Along with your sneakers. Hmm. That's funny. I could have sworn I put them on. Uh-huh. Sure. No problem. They're around. I'll find them. I mean, stuff just doesn't vanish into thin air. Let's hit it! Hold it! Hold it! What is it? Did we hit a gas main? No. That's like nothing I've ever seen before. Better get Big Ed. Ed, we got trouble. What kind of trouble? I think you'd better jump see for yourself. Ed, I have a bad feeling about this. I think we ought to call the Ghostbusters. Forget it, Charlie. I don't need any mumbo-jumbo Ghostbusters bailing me out. We'll just fill it in and be done with it. with something here we don't understand. I'm calling the ghost button. Ray, have you seen my typewriter? No, 
Have you seen my baseball? My typewriter is gone, period. Maybe we've been burglarized. What do you mean? Who would steal Winston's socks? A burglar with no sense of smell? There's no big mystery here, guys. If something's lost, you look for it. Peter, upstairs! Your sneakers! See? The green guy found my sneakers. Thanks, bud. Aha! Uh -huh. There you are, you little devils. There's a lesson to be learned here, Spud. Things don't just get up and walk away. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you sneakers did. Real funny, Slimer. What? Hey! Yeah. Hey! <gasps> that does it. I'm swearing off coffee, sugar, red meat, and smog. Me too! Well, maybe not sugar. Well, at least the phone's still here. Ghostbuster Central, Janine! Egon, let's move. We got a call. What kind of call? A demon sighting in Brooklyn. Sounds fairly routine. I think I'd better stay here. We're getting some dangerously high PKE surges. I think something is trying to break through from the spirit world. I want to monitor it. Whoa! See what you mean? I'm telling you, those sneakers ran off by themselves. Oh, come on, Peter. Just admit you can't find them. I'm telling you the truth. Slimer saw them, too. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Right on the ground. Yeah, sure. What on earth? Holy cow! Did you guys see that? Sure. Haven't you ever seen toasters flying south for the winter? What's going on? Hey! Better step on it, Winston, while we've still got wheels. Uh, don't look now. But we're being followed. Yeah! Hold on, guys. <sighs> I didn't think they rolled up the streets in this town till midnight. You got away, Dad. He's right, Mr. Zedemore. The Ghostbusters are on the way. We don't need the Ghostbusters. This is my drop site, and I can take care of this myself. With dynamite! Hi, guys. Hey, what? How you doing, Winston? Hi, Charlie. Where's Dan? Over there. Maybe you can talk some sense to him. <laughs> I doubt it. Need a hand there? Oh. Better close that hole the way it should be closed. With this. Yeah, this is our kind of job. Let us handle it, please. I said I was doing it. Now step outside. Where's Winston? Yeah, can't we just talk about this? Not now, Winston. Look out! Blast those blue puppies! You okay, Dad? Yeah. Check it out. Nice piece of work, huh, son? You see? We deal in practicalities here. Not like what you do. Dad, look out! Ah! Come on! We gotta 
save him! This is Ray. Over. Yes, Ray. Winston and his dad have been sucked into some sort of interdimensional hole. This may tie in with the readings I'm monitoring here. We'll need time to find a way to deal with this. But we don't have time. We're going after Winston now. I think that would be an extraordinarily bad idea, Ray. I seriously doubt your throwers will function on the other side. Maybe not. But we don't have any other choice. You ready to roll? Ready. <laughs> then let's get lost. Go for it. <laughs> Boy, this is some offering. I wonder why we're falling so slowly. Gravity must be different here. Lost and found in the world. Yeah. What? Uh, maybe you can help me. I'm looking for something in a light blue. See the manager. Peter, look! nice. Thanks, bud. But those are a little loud. I don't hear them. Uh, excuse me. But what are you guys looking for? Peter, I think I know where we are. I'm all ears. The land of lost objects. Anything anyone ever loses winds up here. Good. That includes Winston and his dad. Your crazy Ghostbuster friends teach you that? No, Pop. I learned this from you when I was a kid. Remember that old truck you used to always get locked out of? So you rigged up your own door opener? Yeah, I remember. Hey, you were a good teacher. Impressive, Winston Zedmore. Who are you? How'd you know my name? I am the Collector. Why are we here? What is this place? It is not for you to know. But I will have to keep you both here to ensure that your Ghostbuster friends don't get any foolish ideas about stopping me before I find it. And I will find it if I have to steal everything in your world to get it. Wait, wait. What's this it you're talking about? Holy mackerel. That guy was, was a ghost. Yeah, and not a very friendly one. Man, this is worse than driving through Brooklyn. That does it. I'm gonna start trapping these suckers. <laughs> Guess Egon was right. Our zappers are useless. What about the radio? Eh, nothing but static. I must have lost it around here somewhere. You see it, Slimer? See what, Bingo? My mind. Peter, I bet we'll find some answers in that fortress. Not a very friendly looking group. They're warriors. They must be guarding the fortress. Let's get out of here. Things are 
getting worse, Egon. How much longer? I'll be done in a few more minutes, Janine. Egon! Cocktail and smoked salmon. Hey, where do they keep the can openers? I'm starved. Hi, now. Holy cow! Yeah! Leave it to Egon to make a grand entrance. them, Janine. They're annoying, but harmless. What is this key they're looking for? We don't know. They won't talk, and we can't zap them. These will enable our proton packs to function properly here. Did you find Winston and his dad? We think they're in that fortress. And I say it's time we paid a little visit. Ghostbuster friends are coming, Mr. Zedmore. They are very persistent, but so am I. They will not stop me from finding it. What it are you looking for? Something I have sought for 100 centuries. The key. Climb that? Come on, Peter, it'll be fun! Booby traps. We can't just walk in there. What we need is a spy. Someone who can blend right in with other ghosts. Me? Think your buddies are coming down here to bail us out? How are they gonna do that? They'll figure out something. That's our job. You just can't accept that, can you? That you chase ghosts? Or you blow things up with lasers? That's no job, son. That's a video game. This is no game, Dad. We didn't dig that hole in Brooklyn. Yeah, that was my fault. No, it wasn't. If they hadn't broken through there, they'd have come up somewhere else and we still have them to deal with. Hey, you like your job, Dad, and I like mine. Guess that's true, son. Winston, what's that? Huh? <laughs> Slimer! Hi, <laughs> Winston. Man, is it good to see you. Slimer, this is my dad. Hi, my dad. Um, uh, hi, Slimer. Slimer, can you unlock this door? Well, follow that Ghostbuster. Tell me again why we surrendered, Egon. Because it's the most expedient way to see the head man. You mean the head demon? Ghostbusters. I'll find the key if I have to steal everything on Earth. 
What key, you goofball? The key to this fortress, where I've been imprisoned unjustly for 10,000 years. <laughs> See how you like it. I wouldn't try anything, pal. These things hurt. Where did you get this? Been in my family for centuries. For 100 centuries. But this is only half the key. Where's the other half? What's it to you? I was a mage. An abjurer of spirits. A, a, a ghostbuster like yourself. What happened? A powerful demon imprisoned me here forever as the keeper of lost objects. The only way I can ever be free again is to find the ancient key. This is half of it. I will find the other half. What do you think, Dan? I know when somebody's lying, and I believe him. Yeah, so do I. Then that's good enough for me. My boy ought to know. He's a ghostbuster. After all these years. Is everything okay here? Well, I don't know. I'm still missing my sneakers. I was missing my sneakers. Incoming! Oh! My old boy scout shirt. Got my belt back. Here's your baseball, Ray. Well, look at this. The microscope I got for my third birthday. My old high school yearbook. This was my graduation picture. Huh? Hey, what'd you get, Peter? My grade school lunchbox. <laughs> I lost it in sixth grade. Ooh, yeah. Well, easy come, easy go. <laughs>
To the phone. Stomach, uh, two large fries and one chocolate shake. A big shake. How about a diet apple turnover to go with that? Who's <laughs> <laughs> that slime ball? Precise shooting, fellows. Oh, can we go now? I don't feel so good. to go to the bathroom. Wearing a proton pack? Well, bathrooms can be very dangerous. Is something wrong with Peter? No, Louis. This is my night job, entertaining people in my pajamas. Oh! Well, I bet it's all that fast food he eats. Hey, pal. I don't just eat fast food, okay? Uh -huh. Gee, how'd that stuff get under there? Food chips. I didn't know you liked health food. Oh, I never touch the stuff. But the price was right. See? Living proof that I don't just eat fast food. Phew. Okay, who turned on the heat? I feel like a boiled egg. Hmm. We'd better take your temperature. Look at that. Oh, that's hot. Oh, I feel so lightheaded. Oh. Hey, quick! Don't let him go! Get us oh. on him! We better call a doctor! Uh, or an air traffic controller. Well, don't worry. I know a doctor who makes house calls. Good evening, gentlemen. I believe you called 
<laughs> Dr. McCatheter, uh, thanks for coming. Where is the patient? Uh, right over there, Doc. Peter Vegman. What do you think's wrong with him, Doc? I'll know more after I run some tests. Oh. Relax, Mr. Vinkman. Oh. Mm. Whoa! Hey! Hey, what's going on? Come on, that tickles. Hey, wow! Whoa. <laughs> Mr. Vinkman, I'm afraid you're a very sick man. Well, sure I'm sick. It's the first game of tic-tac-toe I've ever lost. What's your specific diagnosis, Doctor? I believe he's developed a serious allergy to ghosts. <laughs> You're kidding, right? I'm afraid not. His condition will worsen unless he gets out of the ghost-busting business immediately. What? No way! What'll I do? Come on, ghost-busting is my life! I want a second opinion! A second opinion is definitely in order. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Kate Pasa! Somebody do something! You see? The proximity of that creature inflamed the symptoms. <laughs> Mr. Bankman, you must move out of this building, away from anything having to do with ghosts. Wow. For how long? Possibly forever. <laughs> Lewis, make sure the others keep up their strength by eating plenty of my special health chips. It would be tragic if all the Ghostbusters became allergic to ghosts. I'll send more of these free samples over right away. Oh, uh, yes, sir. You're the doctor. <laughs> yes, I'm the doctor. allergic to ghosts. The doctor says Peter has to quit ghost busting and move out of the firehouse. No, that's terrible. Slimer, where's he gonna stay? Oh, no. Absolutely not. Not my apartment. Poor Peter. Who's going to tell him? Well, not me. I couldn't stand to see that much pain. <laughs> There's a shelter for wayward men over on 83rd. Maybe they'll take it. Hold it! Okay, you can stay at my place, but only for a little while. Ah, oh, Jenny! You're a good girl! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> no, I'm a sucker. How is it? He's almost, dare I say, normal. How are you feeling, Pete? Not bad, if you don't compare me to the living. I know that doctor was a little strange, but he sure called this one. Perhaps, but I still don't trust him. <sighs> Things sure aren't the same around here without Peter. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna miss him. Oh, Peter. Don't worry, Spud. Somehow we'll get Peter back. More chips, guys? Hmm. No, thank you. Why do we get these chips anyway, Lewis? They're the worst. But for some reason, I, I can't stop eating them. They're from Dr. McCatheter. He said they'll keep you from catching Peter's allergy. Oh? Hmm. Tell me, Lewis, how long have you known this doctor? Oh, gee, at least uh, two days. Two days? Well, yeah. He came by Thursday and introduced himself. And he said he was opening up a new office in the neighborhood. Gave me his card and, and a free bag of these health chips. Of course, Peter ate them all. That's it. Yeah. The 
these chips are the cause of Peter's so-called allergy. What? But Egon, if that were true, why aren't we all sick? Yeah, we all stuffed our faces with those chips. <laughs> insurance carrier is going to frown on this. Allergy is not a pretty sight. We know. We have it too. But it's no allergy, Pete. It's McCatheter's health food. Observe. Janine, we gotta track down McCatheter, but we need your car. Uh, uh, no way. Remember what happened the last time you borrowed it? Okay, so we forgot to get it washed. Yeah, right. that's yeah. the ticket. Washed? You totaled it! Oh, yeah. Well, uh, that would never happen again, right, guys? Oh, yeah, of course, no, definitely. No, no, no way. <laughs> oh, boy. I'll drive. Shotgun! No, you had it the last time. Hey, my turn! What a bet. This is the address on the catheter's car. Looks like nobody's home. Well, that was always my impression of the catheter. Never underestimate the enemy. Yo, there a doctor in the house? Boy, I bet the magazines in this waiting room are really out of date. came from upstairs. <laughs>
you gonna call? <laughs> hey, I like this guy's style. <laughs> catch him. Every time we get near him, our allergies turn us into nutty potty. Unless we force our bodies to build up an immunity to this allergy. And how do we do that? In forced exposure. To wit, we lock ourselves in a room with a highly concentrated source of ectoplasmic energy and let nature take its course. Oh, oh, good right. brother. Now we'll need an isolation room, preferably carpeted. kidding about that raise. That's weird. The door's open. Hold it, Chini. Ready, guys? Concentrated ectoplasmic energy. Janine, lock us in. And keep your fingers crossed. Oh, <laughs> 
Just kidding. No prisoners, guys! Ghostbusters! Party's over, fun brains. Huh? Surprise, Doc! This house calls on us! One at three o'clock, Egon! Ray, behind you! Winston, the air vent! I got the main monkey! <laughs> hey, little help over here! We were just gonna ask you the same thing! Right behind you, Peter! Lewis? Lewis, nail him now! Head away, Lewis! Keep it on him! Spud! Throw out the trap! Yo! He's in the bag. Nice shoot. Well yeah, done. Hey, way to go, man. Good going, Lewis. Well, I. I guess that about wraps it up for this one, huh, guys? Uh, not quite. My apartment is a disaster area. I can't stay there until you fellas fix it. Hey, no problem, Big J. Uh, Lewis, make a note of it. Gosh, Janine, where are you gonna stay in the meantime? But don't we all? What's the problem, sir? In there! Something really weird's going on! Okay, we'll take it from here. Wow! Why do I feel an overpowering urge to synchronize my watch? There's a definite presence, minimum class five. <laughs> Way to go, 
old Pete. You sure cleaned his clock. Midnight, the witching hour. There is increased activity on the PKE meter. They say time flies when you're having fun, but this is ridiculous. Uh, guys, what time is it when the big hand's on the 12 and the little hand's on a grinning skull with glowing eyes? That's him! You little clock watcher! We got him! We got him! Hold it! See fire! Egon's too close! I I can't see fire! The beams are feeding on each other! Easy, Slimer. Egon! What happened? Hey, you okay, man? I'm fine, but I'll never feel quite the same way about microwaving meatballs. <coughs> Did we trap that little class four? No, but we'll probably get another shot at him. Okay, troops, that about wraps it up. Let's move him out. Wow, I hope tomorrow isn't the maid's day off. Everything's back to normal. Though the word normal is subject to interpretation. Chow time! Come and get it! Breakfast is served. Ooh! Ooh! One for Lincoln, two for me. Hey, wait a second. But always had a way with numbers. Speaking of numbers, uh, we need to discuss our serious financial situation. Uh, seriously? Well, very serious. Serious, serious. See, this blue line shows how operating expenses have gone up, up, up. And the red line shows how profits have gone down, down, down. The, the only way to keep this ship from sinking is by injecting it with fresh money. Then at least something would be fresh around here. So uh, I've invited some potential investors to take a tour. Oh, brother. Oh, not another one of your schemes, Lewis. Give me a break. <laughs> if they like what they see, they'll write out a big check on the spot. But, but it's extremely important that you all put your best foot forward. What for? You know what I mean? For it? Huh? Yeah, yeah, cool, Egon! <laughs> Excuse me, Egon, but is this your idea of a fashion statement, or did you finally strip your gears? Yeah, what's with you, Egon? Egon? Huh? Oh, hey, you have to hear this. Rap Shakespeare. To be or not to be. Like, that is the question, bro. Dig it? Egon, are you sure you're feeling okay? Supremely excellent, dude. Yeah, Thank you. I'm hey, I'm check out my please. latest detection device. It's designed to search out and destroy pimples before they cause nasty, unsightly blemishes. Observe. Bullseye. Isn't it epic? One small step for ghost busting, one giant leap for zits. Thanks a lot. Nobody understands me. I'd say Egon's acting just a tad stranger than usual. Mm-hmm, a tad. Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome to Ghostbusters Central. 
We're from the investment firm of Bilkham and Run. Uh, uh, come in. These are the Ghostbusters. Mature men of science. Automatic tracking device locked on target. Fire one. Look down. He's coming. Fire two. A direct hit! Yuck! Ugh. Get this thing off of me! Excuse me! Guys, either Egon's shrinking or we're under <laughs> attack from Munchkins. Who is that yo yo? Well, actually, he's our scientific genius. But you know how eccentric geniuses can be. <laughs> oh, Egon, come meet some people. How do you like my thermal reactive water balloon launcher? Isn't it just styling? Adjustable trajectory has its own water reservoir and... Uh, forget it, genius. Wait, wait! The tour's just started! Wouldn't you like to see... Boy, they were a lot of laughs. Would somebody please tell me what the heck is going on here? Well, it's only a hunch. But when that ghost collided with Egon last night, it must have reversed the atomic structure of every molecule in Egon's body. For him, time's going backwards. So, how do we shift him into forward again? Who knows? This sort of thing's always been Egon's department. Yahoo! Help! Looks like Egon's transferred to another department. Yeah, the toy department. Chances are the key to all this lies with that ghost. But first we have to find it and trap it. Great time for Janine to take a day off. Ghostbusters. Gotcha. There's a wiggler attacking the big clock in Times Square. Clock? That could be our ghost. Let's roll. Yeah, let's bust that sucker. Yeah, let's bust that sucker. This is totally triumphant. Can I work the siren? How much further is it? Can we go any faster, like on TV? I'm thirsty. <laughs> What time is lunch? I'm starved! Are we almost there? Are we? Ha, 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 are we? I hope so. Boy, do I hope so. What's happening to Egon is happening to the ghost, only in reverse. That's why he's attacking the clock. He's trying to stop time. Winston, Ray, you come at him from 42nd Street. Egon, ready for action. <clears throat> oh, better let me have that proton pack. It's nothing to play with. No, it's, it's mine. Egon? This bus is gonna take real teamwork, and we're counting on you to be the trap man. Trap man? Wow! Ugh. When we give the signal, you step on this trigger pedal, okay? Okay. Let's go! Well, I hope we wrap this one up before he hits the terrible twos. Peter, here he comes. Watch me slam dunk him into the alley. Egon, 
coming your way. Get the trap ready. Egon. Egon. Where'd he go? I, I left him right here. <laughs> nice kitty. Wanna play with me? Oh, hey. Look, kitty. Oh, that's this. Uh, guys, isn't Egon getting a lot younger, a lot faster? The process must be speeding up. You know, like a snowball going downhill. Well, we'd better figure out how to stop this snowball before it melts. According to computer projections, at this rate, Egon will continue growing younger until he vanishes from existence at precisely midnight. Oh, boy, Egon! There must be some way to reverse the process. Think, guys, if Egon was us, what would he do? <laughs> well, he would ask questions like, uh, where do we find the clock ghost? Yeah, and how do we force it back through Egon's body? <laughs> and what is that smell? You dirty guy. Uh oh. Don't worry, Egon. I still respect you. But I may feel differently in the morning. Okay. Who's gonna do diaper duty? Odd or even? Go. Like it or not, guys, looks like we're all in this together. Okay, everybody ready? Ready. 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 Break. Then let's begin. First, we remove the old diaper. Washcloth. Powder. Fresh diaper. Okay, I think we can close it up now. Congratulations, gentlemen. The operation was a success. Somehow that doesn't seem right. No, no, Ray, it's perfect for a mummy. Here, let me fix it. There, there, now, that's, that's fine, baby. All right. Now, you feel better, don't you? Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Who'd imagine that Egon would go to such lengths to get out of kitchen duty? Great, okay, one more. Say Ghostbusters! <laughs> <laughs> you got a call from some clock factory. They're being attacked by a ghost. That's him! Saddle up! What about Egon? Well, we can't take him with us. Here, Lewis. Watch him till we get back. Oh, uh, sorry, Winston. Uh, I've got dog obedience class tonight. I didn't know you had a dog. Oh, I don't. My mother felt I could use the discipline. Well, Slimer, looks like you're it.
by destroying clocks. There's only one thing that'll stop the process. We gotta precisely reenact the original accident. But that means having the ghost, baby Egon, the particle throwers, and a clock all in the same spot at the same time. Right. Then we'd better move. We got less than an hour till Egon turns into a pumpkin. Time for Betty by now, Spud. Where is he? Huh? <laughs> I kept saying, get the kid a teddy bear. All he needs is a teddy bear, but no. You had to give him educational toys. scared me first. <laughs> Slammer, it's up to you. Grab him, and we'll pull you both up. Suspicious? Suspicious? In Lower Manhattan? At nearly midnight? Nah. What are we gonna do, guys? It's three minutes till 12. Three minutes left before Egon disappears into infinity. Say, is it my nerves? Or did that clock just change color? Let's go! Egon! Buddy, we're coming. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Nail him. What about Egon? Help! Egon! Boy, is it great to see you! We thought that... Uh, excuse me, Ray. Could we discuss this later? I'm running a little late. It's really you! Of course it's me. No more baby Egon! Yippee! Uh... 
Baby Egon, would someone please explain why you're all making no sense? You don't remember? Remember what? Egon, old buddy, it's a long story. And then you climbed out the window. And did a high wire act on our sign. Yeah, yeah, high wire act! No, no, impossible. If I had been a baby, I would remember it, and I don't. Furthermore, I don't have anything remotely in common with babies. End of discussion. Thank you very much. You certainly have a way with babies. <clears throat> well, uh, gentlemen, uh, we have work to do. Are you coming? I think our little boy has grown up. from England has left me with a great appetite for evil. There is evil here, Hound. Find it! Moriarty in the city so uncivilized. 
Elementary, my dear Watson. Manhattan is an island with most of its docks at the south end. Moriarty has always been most at home in the dock district. Therefore, we shall go south. Good dog. There is evil aplenty in that building. I can feel it. Hike one, hike two, hike! Slimer, go up for a long one! Nice try, Slammer. I think he's getting better. Would you like to borrow my glasses? Mm, that's so good, huh? Maybe we need some special plays. Egon? All right, huddle up. If we shift our line 12.3 degrees to the right while faking left, pass the ball diagonally to the axis of movement at precisely the speed of light, while converging from all possible points on the nuclear perimeter, the opposing defense should collapse completely. Of course, there is a slight danger that all of Noah's space could collapse with it. Maybe Checkers isn't such a bad idea. Nah, we just need more players. Hey, Peter! Peter! Earth to Pete! Wanna play some football? Ah, football's for wimps. I'm listening to a real hero. Who's that? Fang Moskowitz. The punk rocker? Yeah. Anyone who can sing Baby Punch My Face in front of those fans is some kind of brave. Egon, this is April. <laughs> Ooh, did you feel that? Like a blast of cold air? Ah, this is perfect. A place full of evil energy just waiting to be released. Concentrate, Professor. Concentrate. Give us the long bomb! Sucker, we were five seconds away from wall to wall ghosts. Huh? What? I know most accidents occur in the home, but come on. My word, we're being shot at. Never mind that, Watson. Watson? What was that? Is Ghost Central cutting an off-ramp through here, or what? I don't know, Peter, but for some reason, our beams couldn't touch them. There was something very familiar about those guys. Who are those trigger-happy fools? Ghost hunters, if I read their sign right. Excuse me, old boy. What is it, Helms? Hmm. A clue, Watson. A very interesting clue. Off we go. Bearing dead ahead. No. 
Nah, it couldn't be. Uptown! Do you see the crime? The stench of evil is very heavy here. And now I shall feed. Full torso apparitions. Well, double the pleasure, double the fun. Odd. I can't get an accurate reading. Uh oh. They made us. Let's fry that floater. And your little dog, too. <laughs> No wonder the meter was off. There are more of that new ectoplasm. Just wait till your father gets home and sees this mess. You pathetic hacks are way out of your league now. You think you're dealing with some petty ghost? I am the Napoleon of crime. The Napoleon of crime? Yeah, yeah and I'm the Caesar of salads. Give her your best shot, big guy. I think you're all mouth. Problem, Winston. Yeah, whose side are you on? Ours or the ghosts? One of those ghosts saved our lives, remember? Yeah! Look, guys, I know this is gonna sound strange, but I think those two ghosts were Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Oh, cut it out! Sherlock Holmes and Watson? Oh, <laughs> don't you just love this guy? He is such a kidder. <laughs> yeah, that's a kidder. <laughs> Look, Winston, I know you read a lot of detective mysteries, and sure, they did call that classic spook Moriarty, which was the name of Sherlock Holmes' arch enemy. Say, Egon, maybe Winston's onto something. Impossible, Ray. Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson were fictional characters. They never really existed. Ergo, they could not be ghosts. And this sucker is definitely a ghost. I'll dump it in the containment. <gasps> okay, somebody explain that. 
or change it to another station. It's him. It's Sherlock Holmes. He was not only a great detective, but he also played the violin. Hey, are you crazy? Mr. Holmes? Yes. Wow, it's really him. Astounding. But how can you fiddle around like this when Moriarty's kidnapped your best friend? In the books, playing always helped him think, right? True. And in order to put things right, I shall require a guide who knows the city. You, Mr. Zettermore. How did you know his name? Elementary, my dear Spengler. Your names are sewn on your coveralls. Oh. Will you help Winston? Yeah, sure. It'd be an honor. Sherlock? Now, quickly. Drive us to your city's largest library. The game's afoot. Did we see that, or has my brain finally snapped like a twig? Egon, you said this was impossible. I can only offer a theory. Belief made manifest. Say what? Even though there was never a real Sherlock Holmes, millions of fans believe in him. Right. The London Post Office gets thousands of letters every year addressed to Sherlock Holmes. Precisely. And it appears this collective belief has somehow given Holmes and Watson a quasi-reality. Of course, these free-roaming archetypes aren't exactly ghosts as we know them. That's why our packs don't work on them. Well, this is just great. I mean, who are we going to be fighting next? Darth Vader? Right now, I'm more concerned with what's happening to Winston at the library. What happened to the car? Moriarty is absorbing all spirit energy in the vicinity. Quickly! What is this? Sort of a historical play. Where's Moriarty? Nearby. I can sense it. Yoo-hoo! Excuse me! Oh, dear. Surely you can't be Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. Indeed not, madam. I am Sherlock Holmes. And this is Dr. Winston. Oh, strange. That makes three participants who aren't on the list. Three? Well, yes. You two plus Dr. Jekyll over there. Or was it Mr. Hyde? Moriarty! Brings back memories, huh, Egon? Our very first case started here. Yes, and they still won't give you a library card. <laughs> the old place hasn't changed a bit. Somebody's doing some heavy reading. I never get hit by paperbacks. Ugh, what happened? Where's Moriarty? Gone. But what did he want here? Crime books. He was absorbing their evil energy. With enough energy, he can solidify, become a living person, and the greatest criminal mind in history. That's why I must stop him. But the last time you met Moriarty in one of your books, you both died at the Reichenbach Falls. A popular misconception. 
But this time it's no book, my friend. I believe he's headed back to your firehouse now to feed on the energy of all the evil ghosts there and complete his transformation. He's going to open the containment. Oh, no! Echo one to Central. Powering Central. I'm engineering. Over. Uh, one small question, guys. What happens when we find Moriarty? I mean, our proton packs are a joke. But your trap worked on me. It should also work on Moriarty. If we're not too late. I need you, Reed. Come in. Not now, Egon. I'm busy. <laughs> later. Right now, we have more important work to do. Destroy them! just put Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson into the containment. Hey, believe it, man. Check it out. With eternal gratitude for a most exciting adventure, Dr. Watson and Sherlock Holmes. Wow. 
You have to admit, we did make beautiful music together. You were saying, Winston? How about that? Lunchtime already. Gotta run. Yeah, yeah I'm hungry myself. Yeah, gotta go. This quaint New England village of Lewiston is uh, steeped in 300 years of proud pilgrim history. Hard to believe that such a peaceful place once lived in absolute terror of witchcraft. Of course, <laughs> everyone today knows that witches are just a myth. Oh, look! There's a witch! Young goblins, let's give these rubbernecks a real show! <laughs> Experiment, I need absolute silence. Gotcha. No! Gee, I could never get that chair into reverse. No! Egon? Uh, I like it, uh, Egon. The home ejection seat, guaranteed to spice up an otherwise dull evening. Phew. I was in the midst of a delicate experiment, and suddenly a vision of a hideous hag popped into my mind. I lost all my concentration and kablooey. Yeah, kablooey! Oh, a hideous hag? Maybe you've been working a little too hard lately, Bubby. That's not the reason, Peter. It was something else. Ghostbuster Central. Hey, guys, do we do witches and goblins? <laughs> For double our usual fee? So it's a hoax, or swamp gas. Just look at it as a well-paid drive to Massachusetts. We'll buy some maple syrup. Maple syrup? Have we sunk to this, compromising our principles for a cheap sugar rush? Not cheap, Egon. Double our normal fee. Ah, 
I can smell those maple trees now. In two days, gentlemen, we celebrate our 300th Pilgrim Festival. Thousands of tourists will be arriving, and I want this witch problem cleared up by then. Uh, Mayor, may I be frank? He's really Peter. Please do. Witches just don't compute. My money's still on swamp gas. Swamp gas could carry away a grown man? Okay, swamp gas with an attitude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ray! Ray! Not now, Slimer. We're busy with the mayor. I'll run a few tests on the remote chance there is a ghost problem. I'm confident Lewiston is in safe hands, gentlemen. By the way, your makeup is terrific. I've got to run. What makeup? you get a load of that? Man, what's going on here? Precisely what I'm wondering. Is there something you're not telling us, Egon? Ah, oh, wait, here we go. Eli Spengler, legendary hero of Lewiston, who drove out witchcraft 300 years ago. Amazing. I always thought Grandma Spengler made up that story about her great-grampy Eli imprisoning a witch in a crystal. Wow. Well, statue or no statue, my money's still on swamp gas. Possibly, but I'm activating the sensors. All right, Slimer, sweep the whole area and be careful with that PKE cam. It's the only one we've got. something. Whatever that place is, it's red hot. That's the Lewiston Girls Academy. Slimer, return to base. Pronto. Roger, Peter. Hey! Company coming. Sensors show a mass migration of spectral activity headed straight for us. <laughs> Swamp gas, huh, Peter? <laughs> I saw in the lab today. Faster, Winston, we're losing them! Man, that broom really hauled. I can't keep up. They've gone off the scope, but they were heading toward that girls' academy. Uh, hang a left next corner. It's about two miles out of town. According to this, Kestrel is an evil demoness who has no physical shape. So she takes possession of people's bodies and makes them do terrible things. Yeah. <laughs> well, what does she want with the mayor? Revenge. Mayor Moody is a descendant of the original pilgrims who captured Kestrel. So is the missing bus driver. And so am I. Then as long as Kestrel's loose, you're in danger. So we're gonna stick to you like cops to a donut shop. You got that right. Sorry, ma'am. Official business. We're chasing a witch. <gasps> not here, you're not. My girls are studying for final exams and cannot be disturbed. Ma'am, we're the Ghostbusters, and we... And I'm Margaret Prandish, headmistress of this school. Now you must leave immediately. You don't understand. Our instruments show that this school is a veritable psychokinetic Chernobyl. What did he say? Who cares? He's totally cute. <laughs> 
Now, now, man, no need to get excited. We're professionals. Isn't she cute when she's angry? <laughs> Good night. Glad to be of help, ma'am. We'll check it out, ma'am. Try not to worry, ma'am. Poor girl's crazy about me. I'm getting abnormally high valences. Ow! Something major down there. What? what? You those ghostbuster fellas? Hey, you better be careful around this hole. What is it, anyway? Well, they were digging for a new gymnasium and hit some old stone ruins a few days ago. Then every blasted piece of equipment just quit on them. Darndest thing I ever saw. Hey, where are you going? Gotta check something out. an old Elrond witchcraft altar. But there's... there should be a big round rock crystal right here. Ouch! Whoa! Got something, guys! Hey, what's that? Wow! That's it! Or half of it. the crystal fragment. And a few tests should tell us why it's so important to Kestrel. Containment unit. Kestrel must have the other half. Yeah, and whoever ends up with both halves wins. Miss Prandish, we're convinced that Kestrel has taken possession of a human host in this school. It's imperative that we run PKE tests on every girl here. Absolutely not. I told you my students are in the midst of finals. Well, what if we blend in and work undercover? Blend in? Gentlemen, this is a girl's school! Show me big for this one, Egon. Protecting you from witches is getting to be a real drag, if you know what I mean. Do I have too much eyeshadow? The problem is the color, Peter. It has to complement your lip gloss. I have a color chart. Forget it! Winston and his bright ideas. I just wish he had to wear these pantyhose. They're murder, man! It's showtime! Lap nine. 
it moving, girls. Excuse me, Miss Prandish. I need to speak with you. Gross! Code Maroon. Ground floor, corridor C. What's up, Ray? What's up, Ray? She's using Miss Prandish's body. She had to go through here. I was right on her tail. I have a reading, but it's too weak for a directional fix. Tell Kestrel's in the bag. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Vampire weeds and scorpion stings. Ground to counter time. Now the spell is complete. Egon Spengler's mine. Kestrel is Egon. Oh, no! No, no! You know if you use that weapon, you'll harm your precious Egon! Egon, I know you're in there. Fight it, big guy. Too late! <sighs> Whoever ends up with both halves wins! <laughs> right, Peter? Ray, drink that potion! <laughs> She's going straight for Ecto. By possessing Egon, she also possesses his awareness, so she knows where our half of the crystal's hidden. Some. 
do it. We'll hold the spooks off. Actually, I feel like I need a long shower. Hey, Egon, you big knucklehead. How come you're back in that ugly dress and stupid wig? I beg your pardon. Hey, Peter, leave that lady alone and come join us for lunch. Swamp gas would have been so much easier. It's your time.
by then, I must have lost my head for a moment. Nothing but a birthday girl crying happy birthday all the time. Peter, why can't we just sing it like normal people? Because I do a terrific Elvis, little baby mama. As an actor, I have natural talent. <laughs> As a singer, you could fricassee frogs at 30 yards. <laughs> Speaking of frogs, yuck! Elevator 8, Lewis and Janine! What? Spud, you want to slow that down to 33 and a third? This sounds serious. Very serious. Janine actually left a mall in the middle of a clearance sale. Hey, need something? Or should I say someone? <laughs> if you want to see him again, alive, you do exactly what I tell you. He's got the midnight to turn over the whole ghost-busting operation to me. Boss Pozo. Understand? Midnight. A ghost who wants to bust ghosts? Why? Well, first, let's find out who. Got him. Ugh, you can have him. Yeah! Oh, Pozo, a Class 7 organizer. Not much here. He works with a sidekick, a class five named Shifter. Hey, I recognize that little squid. He's in the containment unit. We bagged him two weeks ago. Great. Maybe he can help us nab this Pozo character. But we'd have to bring him out to do it. Just look at it this way, Spud. Janine and Lewis are depending on you. Oh. This camera trap will follow you in, Slimer. And we'll be able to monitor you from here. Ready, big guy? Yeah, ready. That's him. That's Shifter. Nice work, Slimer. We have a lock on target. Got it. 
wondering why we called you here. Not really. See, Ray, I told you, ghosts are a pain in the... <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's it. Hold him steady. Hey, hands off. This is ghost snapping. I want to see my lawyer. Well, what do you clowns want from me anyway? Go ahead, Egon. I can't bring myself to ask. We need your help. Wait, 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 I didn't hear this. You're putting me on, right? <laughs> no joke, Jelly Jaws. Tell us about Pozo. Pozo? Yeah, Shifter. Why does he want to take over our business? Well, you guys been hanging out, man. On the moon? Pozo wants to be the Ghost Father. Ghost, ghost Father? Yeah, man, the big boss. With your ghost busting gear, he can control every ghost on the coast. They'd have to do whatever he said, or he'd zap them. Well, it'll never happen, because we are going to shut him down. Whoa, bro. What's this we? Simple. You help us find Pozo and rescue our friends, and we'll set you free permanently. Well, what are we waiting for? Yeah, Pozo hangs out right here. Ghost town. In Jersey? Moved there last year. Probably where he's got your friends. Then let's go. Yeah, let's go! Whoa, 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 whoa. I might be able to sneak one of you in. But only one. That is the last time I ugh, ever draw straws for a job. Where's the spot, Winston? Oh, what is this stuff? I collected it last year after we battled Vigo the Carpathian. It's psychoreactive slime. It responds to your thoughts and emotions. It should give you limited ghostly powers and help you pass as the real thing. You can even fly. I'm still not completely sure how it works. Man, are we in trouble. Pick up the pace, Lightfoot. We're gonna miss the last ferry to Jersey. Get out of my face, Shifter. It's not easy being a slimeball ghost like you. A little tip. Use your slime. Fly. If you think you can handle it. Cuz... Anything you can do, I can do. And don't call me Cuz. Hey, I'm flying! Hooray. Nice move, Peter Pan. Why don't you stick around? I gotta run. Don't wait up for me, sucker! Yo! Read my lips, shiftless. The only way you're gonna get free is after we find Lewis and Janine. Oh, now, give me a little help here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah! Well, there they go. Let's keep our fingers crossed. I hate to think that everything depends on that yo-yo. Which one? What are they staring at? Yo. Hiya, cutie. Things are pretty dead around here. You want to go out? Sorry, I, uh, Tuesday nights I, uh, wash my slime. Aw, oh, don't be bashful, doll. Hey! I, I don't even know you. Yeah! Fresh! Cause 
working with you is really bad for my image. You don't have an image. And I'm not your cuz. Ooh, touchy, touchy. So smart guy. Uh, where is this so-called ghost town? Or are you just pulling my slime? That dumps ghost town? No, it's Tahiti, but this is the off-season. What a flesh head. What a flesh head, what a flesh head. You really think I'll be able to pass as a ghost? Hey! No. Uh, who are you? I'm, uh, with him. Why, that little... So, what do we do with this creep? Let's take him to Poso. Yeah, the boss will know what to do with him. Let's tell Poso we caught a live one. <laughs> live for now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me out of here? Ecto slime? Ugh. Looks like I've just been pardoned. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. This slime ugh, was a big ugh, mistake. Ugh. You're never gonna get away with this, you you slimy slug! I hate kitties, so don't push me, huh? Sign it, Peter? Negative. Negative. But here comes a welcoming committee. Oh. Oh. A ghost. Oh. Hang on! Everybody okay? <laughs> Fine. Oh boy, time's running out for Janine and Lewis, and we get stuck. How about it, Winston? Can you fix it? I think so. But you'd better tell Egon we're gonna be off schedule. Egon, we have a problem. You aren't the only one, Ray. Some of Pozo's goons are here. <laughs> they expect us to surrender. But I've refused. The containment. We want to see how it works. Now. That is the Ecto containment system. This thing? <laughs> that thing, yes. And this is the control panel. Oh, big deal. I'm really impressed. <laughs> <laughs> and this lever opens the trap. And that concludes our tour. I have the same trouble down at the health club. Swell. So, how do you like Pozo's Pokey? Oh, I don't know. I'm sort of getting attached to it. Ugh, where'd you go? I could've used a little help here. Relax. I was checking out the layout, man. Besides, I came back, didn't I? Then get me out! Or you're gonna be stuck in here with me. Okay, okay. Listen up, spook breath. Duck out of me again, and you're back to the Phantom Farm. For good. Man, you've got a real attitude problem. Where'd you get that? You left it in jail. Here. I don't want to play anymore. Oh, that's just great. Okay, take off, smart guy. I can't stop you. I'll just handle this myself, like I should have from the start. 
I didn't say anything about splitting. I've got my own reasons to see Pozo go down. Such as? He's the creep who got me busted in the first place. So deal me in. Okay. Hey, you two. Let's box! Swell. Concentrate, Pete. Use the juice! Fly. Fly. Fly! Wrong! 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 Hey! Shifter! Catch! Hey! The boss wants a word with you! Beam me up, Shifty! You may make it as a ghost yet. Thanks, but no thanks. It's almost midnight. We don't have much time. Here's the plan. Uh-oh, that's Peter's two-minute warning. He's moving in on Pozo. We have one minute, 58 seconds to be over target. We'll make it. You know what to do? Hey, have I ever let you down? What's wrong, Pozo? Your little plan to take over our headquarters starting to fall apart? Yeah, the Ghostbusters are gonna nail you, Pozo. Peter! Rub it up, dub, you big slimy tub. I've got an offer you can't refuse. You ain't seen the half of it, Flashface. What's this? Well, I saw it on sale and I just knew it was you. Shifter, go! Go! Think cool. Think cool. Come on, Shifter, hit the button. Stand by. Trap open. Go for it, Shifter! Lock them home, Pozo! We got him! Way to go, Shifter! Yeah! Way to go, Shifter! Hey! <laughs> Looks like all the goobers are blowing town! With Pozo bagged, there's nothing to hold them here anymore. They'll scatter back to their old haunts and settle down. Well, it's all over, and a deal's a deal. So you're free to go, pal. We made a pretty good team, huh, Pete? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. But take my advice. Stick to being human, huh? <laughs> you got that right. Congratulations, Peter. Job well done. Here, you're a mess. Gosh, I wonder why. Egon? Egon? It won't come off! 
Hmm. Being psychoreactive, the slime has apparently grown quite fond of you. What? Egon? Yeah! That's it! That is the last straw! I never wanted to wear this stuff in the first place. I told you, but oh no! You wouldn't listen to me, because you're just Mr. Know-it-all, huh? Easy, Peter. Remember, the slime mirrors your emotions. Don't easy me, Egon. I'm fed up, furious, fried! Yeah! Egon! Get me out of this! Won't the slime calm down? Unfortunately, not until Peter does. I'll get you for this, Egon! Yeah! favorite show, Muffy and the Meatheads. Can't we wait for a commercial break? Ray, come on, man. We've got a job to do. Stinker. Hey, Sorry, Spud. Let's get serious and bag this, Cooper. I'm missing my TV show. Whoa! 
What a gross out. Man, they are getting uglier and uglier, aren't they, Ray? Well, this one's gonna take a long beauty sleep now. Nice shooting, Ray. Ray? All right. Godzilla goes to Hollywood. Oh, my. I hope I'm insured for ghosts. No biggie, sir. A little pain here and there will do wonders. Now, about our fee. Listen, uh, how's about I give you something better than money? Like? This little baby here is top of the line. It's got your stereo synthesizer, a modulizer, digital audio tracking transceiver, Ooh. and 60-channel AM, FM, fiber optic solid state. Sorry, but... What is it? You realize what this means, Spud? <laughs> what it means is we just got aced out of this week's grocery money in exchange for our year's supply of canned laughter. No, 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 no! It means that we get to watch tonight's classic late movie in stereo! The incredible radioactive gerbil from outer space! Yeah, yeah! Aren't you going to crash, Ray? No, I want to watch our new TV. This movie is a classic. <laughs> You're the classic. Good night, pal. Dr. Proctor, we're doomed. Pull yourself together, Faye. I know how to stop the giant gerbil. First, we build this really humongous exercise wheel. Sure, I'm telling you, we're going to get drenched. Ray, nobody's used this place in 10 hmm? years. The pipes in here are so dry, the termites carry canteens. Reader? I'm getting strong readings in here. There he is! Incoming! Wow! Incredible! Guys! Guys, you won't believe what's on TV. Who cares? Pipe down, man. Yeah, cut down, man. We are trying to sleep, Ray. No. Don't look, Faye. A 20-ton dead gerbil is not a pretty sight. What? Oh, I know I saw it. You have to cut back on the TV time, Ray. You're starting to lose touch with reality. But it was real. I saw it. We were all there. And you were the scarecrow, and you were the tin man. Face it, Ray. You fell asleep in front of the tube and had a bad dream. Poor Ray. Yuck. You look like a manhole cover, Spud. Got a call, guys. A free repeating phantasm's loose on the east side in an abandoned warehouse. Did you say an abandoned warehouse? Yeah! Expecting rain, Ray? I'm telling you, this is exactly the warehouse I saw on TV. We're gonna get drenched. Now me! Ray, nobody's used this place in a hundred years. The pipes are so dry, the termites carry canteens. That is exactly what you said last night. <laughs> I got him. Hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> did I call it or did I call it? An amazing coincidence. Uh, but only coincidence. It proves nothing. Sorry, Ray. I believe you, Ray. Time check. One AM. Roger. Time for the late movie. This is it! TV. Quiet! Now, do you believe me? Okay, how'd you do it, Ray? Celebrity lookalikes? I didn't do it. It's real. Yeah, real, real. I believe you, man. So do I. And I'd say that this is the culprit. You mean our new TV is haunted? No! Oh! Egon, you're supposed to unplug it first. It was unplugged. Hop to it, guys! Some glass doors are loose at the Maritime Museum. Maritime Museum? Like where they have a lot of old sailing ships? Old pirate sailing ships? Exactly! Yeah! Hey! Girlfriend! Is it? It is. Then let's move. Next, Ray. Now? <clears throat> now we remake Captain Blood. Avast, ye swabs! Avast yourself, matey. Arr! <laughs> Looks like we got them all. No, there's one more. Arr! He's mine. Careful of the... Ah. Oops. We did it. Now let's take this 
puppy home. How, Ray? The rudder's useless. Hey, look on the bright side. We're alive, the traps are full, and the Coast Guard will be here in no time. No problemo. What was that? Hey, what is that? Terms here. Port, starboard, poop deck. Poop deck? We won't even get into that one, okay? Come on, come on, hustle! Just follow me! Fire into the water! Go, go! Hold your fire! Man, that was a little too close. Hold on, we still have to get by the propellers. Can we go home now, please? Just as I suspected, this set is hot. <laughs> if it's so hot. How come it didn't warn us about that tanker? Maybe it didn't want us to know about that until it was too late. That's it. Give me that set. It's out of here. Sorry, Peter. It's important that I study this more closely. That's good, Slimer. Nothing there. So that's where my keys went. Sorry, Peter. Sonic profile is normal. Seems like everything is normal. So far. Now I'll check the brain waves. Brain waves? From a TV set? Well, what does intelligence have to do with television? See for yourself. Incredible! The EEG indicates high brain activity. Hi. That thing's smarter than I am. Better have a look at this. Tell you one thing, it didn't come out of the factory this way. Fusion. It's growing like a supernatural fungus. Terrific. Our TV has ecto athlete's foot. Time for Dr. Venkman's miracle cure. No way! This is the greatest scientific discovery in history. This TV set can see into the future. Our very own electronic crystal ball. Think of the possibilities. Ray is right. This is a window into our future. Great. No more blind dates. Hey, let's plug it in and see what's going to happen next. Hmm. Nothing yet. <sighs> keep looking. Keep looking. <laughs> oh, wow. What's up? A prediction? I really love this show. Ray, we're trying to do science stuff here. That's our roof. What are we doing up there? A roof is no place to be in a lightning storm. What's it mean, the end? I think we just witnessed our own deaths. <laughs> well, the good news is we can see the future, but the bad news is it's going to be real short. Uh-oh. Uh-oh? He said, uh-oh. Edwin says that.
You mean we've been sitting here all this time staring at an omelet? A rainstorm, just as the TV showed. Hmm. A flooded warehouse, pirates at sea, and now rain. All three predictions involve water. And blue is the universal color of water. Gentlemen, I think we're dealing with a water elemental. Of course! Of course what? Elementals were ancient spirits, like powerful genies. They represented the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. Yeah, people used to think elementals caused things like fires, earthquakes, and hurricanes. But that's all superstition. Well, this is obviously real. What happens if it hatches? The results could be devastating to the entire city. Let's get this to the containment. Hurry! Yeah, before something else happens. Oh. Hey, 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 where's the light? light? I can change it! The emergency generator will handle it. For a while. But now we can't use the containment. The trap lock drains too much power. They will have to take this to the roof. What? Egon, you saw the prediction. You know what's going to happen if we go up there? I know what's going to happen to this entire city if we don't. Well, guys, looks like the future is now history. Now, explain to me again why we're still alive, Egon. Because the water elemental thought he was safe on the tower. That was the future he showed us. But when I zapped the lightning rod, it changed the future. Yes, you made him the target. The lightning hit him and poof, no more water elemental. Good call, Ray. Yeah, Ray. Smooth move, man. How'd you know to do that? Well, I, uh, <clears throat> I, uh, saw it on TV once. Here, partner. We still have one good set left. From now on, you watch whatever you want. Thanks, guys, but I think I'd rather just read a book tonight. Yeah, read a book. It was a dark and stormy night. Another book. Once upon a time, on a warm and sunny day, in a far
okay, Slimer. We're all a little tired. A little tired? My calculator just fell asleep. That's it. Break time. We deserve it. Absolutely. Drivers are back. Well, looky here. Must be nice, huh, guys? Yeah, nice. You people don't know how easy you have it. It's a jungle out there in the real world. Hey, we're working hard, too, you know. Uh, which reminds me, when can we discuss the pay raise you promised? Uh, we'll talk about it later, Janine. That's what you said yesterday. Egon said it yesterday. I said it day before yesterday. Anyway, I have to hustle over to the ladies' charity function where I will be auctioned off as a date to the highest lady bidder. Ah, uh, the price of fame. <laughs> the name's Venkman. Peter Venkman. Hey, I gotta run too. I'm guest speaker at a comic book convention. Yeah, and I gotta be on the set in 10 minutes. We start shooting the Fizz Up TV commercial today. And I'm off to the university to receive their annual scientific achievement award. There's the cabs. Wait, guys, these checks need signing. We'll sign them later, Lewis. That's what you said yesterday. We'll Ciao, Janine. Adios, huh? Lewis. Later, guys. Boy, if their heads swell anymore, they'll have to wear wide globe signs on their backs. And meanwhile, we don't get paychecks. Thanks, uh, are the ladies ready for me? Uh, sorry, sir, but the ladies' club isn't meeting today. Of course they are, my good man. They're expecting me. Sure this is the place, pal? There's no comic book convention here. Yes, there is. Look, I'm the guest speaker. Just take me around to the stage entrance. You're the boss. Hello? I'm here. Race dance. You know, the Ghostbusters. What? See me? Roll them! <clears throat> I am deeply honored, and to some small degree, even humbled, to be the recipient of this prestigious award. What's going on? Where are we? And don't say we're not in Kansas anymore. Wherever we are, if this tux is messed up, I'm not paying for it. Silence! Are we dreaming or what? No dream, Ray. I believe this is the other side. 
the spirit world. <laughs> Quiet! Quiet in my courtroom. This court is now in session. Bring the prisoners forward. <laughs> you Ghostbusters shall stand trial for all of your countless crimes against spirit kind. A charge that is punishable by... by... Oh, never mind. The punishment is much too horrible to mention. You have guys back yet, Janine? No. And without my paycheck, I can't buy groceries tonight. Here's money, Janine. Aw, that's sweet, Slimer, but you keep it. Gosh, I wonder what's keeping them. They're probably out eating filet mignon while I go home and open a can of beans. How late do those ceremonies last, anyway? Who knows? Check the invitations. Round follow. Wait a sec. All these invitations are in the same handwriting. What? You're right, Louis. How weird. Uh-oh. Ghosts. Ghosts? Holy cow! Look, look at the meter! Louis, I think the guys have walked right into a ghost trap. Oh, no! Yeah, and without their ghost-busting gear, what are we gonna do? Only one thing to do. Look out below! Uh oh Louis, are you okay? Uh, I just can't get the hang of that stupid pole. Slimer! Coming, Jenny! Everybody ready? Ready! Let's rock and roll! Yeah, yeah! Rock and roll! Hope you have a plan, Janine. Never leave home with that one. Start reading off those addresses. Tell me, Ghostbusters, where were you on the night of April 17th, 1840? 1840? We weren't even born yet, pal. A flimsy excuse. You're right. How stupid of me. Do you recognize these faces, Ghostbusters? Isn't that the boogeyman? Boy, he sure has aged. <laughs> I hate that! These are all victims of your wanton ways, kidnapped by you and imprisoned in your cruel containment device. Hey, what kind of court is this anyway? Basketball, you wanna play some one-on-one? -on -one? Not yet. I'd say we have two chances for a fair trial. Zilch and none. I hope we find something here. This is the last address. Come on. Here we go. What's this? Egon <gasps> Botai. The readings in here are exactly the same as the places Ray, Winston, and Peter went to. You know what? I think the guys have been kidnapped by ghosts. Oh, no. Poor guys. Jury, what is your verdict? I now pronounce you man and wife. Uh, no, no, wait. I now declare this bridge officially open. No, 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 no. 
I find you guilty as charged. Take them away. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. But if the guys were kidnapped by ghosts, where would the ghosts take them? The ghost world. The ghost world? Oh, that's awful. I'll see. They're blowing all their accrued vacation days in a very overrated spot. We have to rescue them. Uh, us? You mean go to the ghost world? But how? Slimer, you're a ghost. You must know a way in. Well, um, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, I know a way. Enjoy your stay. Hey, nobody told us how long we're in for. You'll find out, Flesh Boys. <laughs> Slimer, that's not even a street. Ghosts don't need streets. He has a point. Find out in about two seconds. this yeah pretty humiliating whoever's playing the crummy harmonica knock it off uh peter what it's their version of elevator music oh Ghost nice work slimer now to find the guys where do we start i think that way no that way Never mind. We'll go this way. Shall time! I hope the food's good. I'm starving to death. Boy, all my favorites. Any chef specials today? Move along, skin brain! Oh, yuck! A little eyeball helper will do wonders. Uh, pardon me, but, uh, have you seen four gentlemen uh, about yay high? No! Nobody's gonna tell us where the guys are. We gotta find them on our own. We gotta bust out of this joint. I can't stand it anymore, and neither can my hair. Peter, without a plan, you may be wasting your time. The security here is fierce. Okay, fine. When my escape tunnel's ready, you guys can't use it. Uh, uh. See? Never say die. Peter. No need to apologize, Winston. Some of us are leaders, and some of us are... Oh, I hate that! Peter! But from where? It 
looks like a prison. Come on. If that's where the guys are, then that's where we're going. No. No. Don't take me there. Don't take me to the... the... armpit. What's the... armpit? You'll find out soon enough. You boys are next. <laughs> you mean right now? No. Right now, you've got visitors. Visitors? Here? Recognize your sweet old mama and papa. Janine and Lewis. Slimer. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, this is not a nice place. Well, we came to bust you out. Lewis, we're outnumbered here 100 to 1. Actually, 100.5 to 1. But we brought blasters. Blasters? Where are they? We stashed them. We'll make our move at lights out. Your three minutes are up. have gone to the... to the... armpit! How do I get the feeling we're walking the last mile? Because that's precisely what we're doing. Will you guys shut up? I'm depressed enough! Oh, ow! Hey! Any last words? Yeah. <clears throat> Four score and seven years ago, our fathers came forth to this. Shut up! You creeps are out of here! Stop! Stop! I have a pardon from the governor! <laughs> Just like in the movies! Time offer.
real world. The portal can only exist at night. <laughs> We must be home. There's the East River. Oh, I think we're in the East River. No, it's not this clean. Now I know how you guys feel at the end of a day. By the way, Janine, you've got that raise. I do? Oh, Peter, thank you so much. Janine! Hey, 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 hey Sam! Yeah. you an historic television broadcast, The Ghostbusters, live from Al Capone's tomb, with Dr. Egon Spengler. I won't do it. Dr. Ray Stans and Winston Zedborn. Hi! And your host for this evening, Dr. Peter Beckman. Al Capone, a two-bit hood with delusions of grandeur, or just misunderstood? We don't know, and we don't care. This is it. Al Capone, the boss. And now, here's my associate, Dr. Egon Spangler, to tell you why we're here tonight. Don't push, don't push. Uh, hi. <laughs> You'll have to excuse him. This is his first time on TV, and he's just a little bit nervous. Go ahead, Egon, my main man. Tell the folks at home why we're here tonight. We're here tonight because Peter sold the TV rights for lots of money before we could stop him, and now we're stuck on national TV, and I'm not having any fun at all. Oh, isn't he a kidder, folks? Okay, Egon, tell him the real reason. Egon, read the card. We are here because Al Capone's ghost appears every ten years at midnight on this spot. Excuse me? Keep reading. And we're going to catch him on live TV right in front of all you crazy guys and gals? And now, with no further ado... Peter, wait. No one's ever seen Al Capone's ghost. Not in ten years, that's right. But we will tonight. Thank you, Egon. And you better get back to those ghost traps. We'll need them. Now, here's a brief history of Al Capone, the boss. Alphonse Capone. Accused as a young boy of cutting down a cherry tree, he was never convicted. The witnesses and the tree itself suddenly disappeared but it without a trace. <laughs> An only son, he worked hard in school. That's a real nice pencil box he got there. It'd be a real shame if something would have maybe happened to it. 
Ain't that so many? <laughs> yeah, boss. Be a real shame. As a young man, he came to Chicago, determined to become a mob ten pin. I don't know, uh, this just ain't right somehow. Then he wised up and decided to become a mob kingpin. Soon he was the most powerful gangster in Chicago through a series of well-executed raids on other gangsters. Better, much better. But like every petty crook, he spent his last few years behind bars. Nobody does this to Capone. You hear me? I'm still the toughest guy around, and I'll prove it. You just wait. That's Al, folks. Whoops, almost been there. Just a few minutes to go. Better check in with the team. You there, guys? All set, Peter. Can I say hi to my mom in New Jersey? Maybe later. Finally to certify that everything tonight is on the up and up, our observers from the firm of Tully, Melnitz & Spud, Louis Tully, and Janine Melnitz. Hi. Anything to say to the millions of folks watching at home? Hi. Hi. Peter, I'm getting some strange readings. Maybe you shouldn't push this. Yeah, while Dr. Spengler and I confer, here's another clip from Capone's past. Egon, I know there's been no sightings of Capone. I'm not worried about that. I'm concerned about all this activity. Peter, I think you're waking something up. Don't worry, it's okay, it's... Peter, we couldn't find the clip. You're still on the air. We're still on the air? <laughs> We're still on the air! Al Capone, right here on our stage. Any minute now, we'll see that cheap hood Capone face to face. Uh, Peter. Just a second, Egon. Yes, Capone, that ectoplasmic wimp, that... Peter, I'm getting a... Okay, boys, get this straight. I'm giving you just one warning. Cut it out and cut it out now, or there's gonna be trouble. The heck was that? A fourth magnitude supernatural disruption. It seems to have come from all around us. <laughs> Uh, Peter, we're back on the air, right. Well, folks, seems we had a little trouble with our transmitter, but we're back online now, and listen, midnight. Peter, I really think we should reconsider this. When the clock finishes tolling on the final stroke of midnight, the ghost of that creep Al Capone will rise. You ready, guys? All set. Four. Two. Here. Now! <clears throat> now, or, uh, now! Anytime now. <laughs> no, really, he'll, uh... Huh? Ooh, I am the ghost about Well, why not? I can think of several good reasons. Okay, Capone, this is it. This isn't your town anymore. You are finished. Kaput, you're a has-been, a loser, a... I want you. Peter, I think we've got a problem here. Wait a minute. This wasn't in the script. Wasn't in the script. Oh my gosh, they're gone. Hey, yeah. okay, I am cheesed off. How come this stuff never happens to Geraldo? How come we... Wait a minute. Peter, where's Ray and Winston? For that matter, where's Ecto-2? Run! <laughs> Phew. Told you we'd make it down safe, Winston. <laughs> but we haven't checked for contusions or abrasions yet. You know the rules about first aid. First we... Go, go! Hey, 
1934. Eight cylinder, runners, mint condition. <laughs> Wonder what else it's got. I suspected as much. At a guess, I'd say all of this is a supernatural manifestation. It looks like we've been pulled into the spirit world. In other words, that's a ghost. Yes, Peter. That's a ghost. Well, that's all I needed to hear. Okay, buddy. Nobody interrupts my TV show. Eat Proton! Of course, I meant eat Protons in the very best sense of the word. Boss sent me to get you, so use is common with me now. So what if we don't like wanna go witches? That would make me very unhappy, and I would have to shake your hand. I would shake your hand any time I wanted, cause I would keep it in a box on my table. Oh guys, uh, this nice gentleman would like us to meet the boss. <laughs> Isn't that nice? You know, a few curtains, some nice plants, and this place could really come alive. I think coming alive is a little beside the point. This whole place is dead. Well, maybe we're just not seeing it at its best. Yeah. Then again, uh, maybe we are. So what the heck happened to our proton packs, Ray? If Egon's right, and this is the spirit world, then the rules of science might not apply. There it is. The boss's house. Uh, excuse me, but uh, who is the boss? The boss? That's Mr. Capone. Mr. Al Capone. Said he wanted to welcome you real personal life. Make you feel so much to home, you never leave. <laughs> is to wait here. The boss will be with you in a second. <laughs> Big place. Slimer, no! You'll get us in trouble. Ray, we're already in trouble. guys are the Ghostbusters. Well, who wants to know? The name's Al. Al Capone. Oh, yeah? Let me see some ID. I got your ID right here, pal. Well, that do? Well, actually, it's uh, expired. Well, so have I. Big deal. And I'm still the toughest guy south of Chicago. Way, way south of Chicago. Thought you'd make a big name for yourselves by going after me, didn't you? Got to make me out some penny, any dummy? Well, I take that kind of thing personal. I need time to get this working, guys. Uh, actually, there's a good, a very, very good explanation for all this. Uh, tell them what it is, Ray. Yeah, I did. Huh? Uh, that's right. It was, uh, it was Peter's idea. Hey! Well, it was. Tough guys. Without those fancy heaters, you're not much, are you? Maybe where you come from, you're big stuff. But now you're on my turf. Yeah? Well, turf this. Whoa! Okay, Egon. Now what? Pray he bunts. It's a
They're firing, but it doesn't seem to hurt them. The only thing they knew how to do in life, so I guess it's all they know how to do now. Roy, I've heard about being in a rut, but this is something else. Yeah? Well, unless we want to end up buried in a rut, I said we make a run for it while they're distracted. Agreed. Go! You'll never take me alive, coppers. Whoops! This way! In here. Right. Okay, quick, in here. Peter! Watch it. I'll have you know I'm a close personal friend of Jimmy Cagney. Okay, you mugs, listen up. I'm only gonna say this once. You guys know where you are? Well, yes. We're in the spirit world. There, you see? Guys got smarts. Yeah, a regular Einstein. Well, thank you. I just like to say... Shut up! Yes, sir. I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. Me and my boys here, we'll help you get back to the world of the living if you help us get rid of Capone. Wait a minute. I thought you were all on the same side. What are you, a comedian? When me and the boys got here, we figured we'd call a truce. But Capone, he decides to take over the whole joint. We don't want that. We just want to retire and be legitimate businessmen. We hear you're big-time enforcers, so maybe we can make a deal. What do you say? I see, uh, sure. Why not? Good. Now, which one of you clowns is in charge here? I, uh, why do you ask? We just want to know. For insurance. Uh, he is. <laughs> Who's he? A ghost. Must be from out of town. He got a name? They call him the Spud. The Spud? But he has... <laughs> What'd he say? He said, uh, <clears throat> use guys relax. My boys will take care of things. Except we've got a little problem. Our, uh, I mean, their proton packs don't work. Uh, Voik. I said that? That's because they work on science. This place works on magic, and the two don't mix. But we can fix that. We'll also need Ecto-2, and we can't go out dressed like this. <laughs> nice guy. Sharp dresser. He just don't talk too good. Well. Well what? Well, hey, never mind. You said you could make the proton packs work. Oh, yeah. Here, try these. What are they? Magic crystals. Get out of here. Read the label. Magic crystals. Manufactured by Magic Crystals, Inc. Satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. You boys need a hand? Uh, no thanks, ma'am. We, uh, we got it. You know, you're kind of cute, doll. In the right light, a girl might even think you were still alive. Well, I, uh... Ray... Does this mean you don't want a date? Maybe some other time, ma'am. <sighs> Just as well. My boyfriend's here. Boyfriend? Uh, well, well, ain't this swell? Small spirit world, ain't it? Yeah! Hit it! Uh-oh. Those packs ready yet, Egon? I think so, assuming these crystals work. Why? Okay, Rocky, it's curtains for you, see? Curtains. Got him. Okay, let's...
let's get this show on the road. Time to bring Al Capone to justice. Hey, boss, there's something you ought to see. We got trouble. Keep firing. We're almost there. Okay, everybody. Back up. This is between them and me. You want me tough guys? Come and get me. You think you're big guys, don't you? Well, this is still Chicago, and I'm the biggest guy in Chicago. I'm the biggest guy in Chicago. You hear me? Get him! Fire! Dad, could I borrow the car for the prom tonight? I, I promise I'll get it back in one piece this time. Listen, I've got an idea. If we can get rid of that bat of his, we can get a clear shot with the proton beams. I, I think I know how to do it, but it may not work. I'll have to go it alone. Not a chance, Winston. I'm not leaving. That wasn't a request, Ray. You may be big stuff in Chicago, but where I come from, you're small change. Automatic self-destruct. Sequence start. Impact in 15 seconds. 14. 13. Seven, six, five, Princeton! Four, three, two, one. Tough break, big guy. Hey, great gone, Winston. Not too dusty. That was very dangerous. Hey, piece of cake. You know, I was thinking, you and me, we got a great act here. Now, I was right in the middle of doing this special for ABC, and uh, maybe you could help out. Uh, Peter, I don't think you should... Cut you in for 10% and the money from the jukeboxes. What do you say? Uh, guys? Nice going, Peter. Eat it. This place is bad enough as it is. At these prices, I'm not surprised. <laughs> See, we're out of time. So, for the Ghostbusters, wherever they are, good night! Egon! Where were Whoa. you? Where were we? I'll tell you where we were. We were fighting Al Capone, and we won, and we got him right here! Right. Yeah, sure. Tell us another one. But, but we really did. Right, whatever you guys say. The point is, the ratings were terrific. When you guys vanished like that, the network was flooded with calls. Everyone was watching. It's the biggest thing since the election. What a great trick. But it wasn't a trick. It, uh, oh. Well, look at the bright side. There's always next time. Excuse me, what next time? Oh, didn't he tell you? We made a deal with Peter for two shows. It'll be great. I can just see it. And now, ABC brings you Peter Venkman and the world-famous Ghostbusters live. Uh, I was gonna tell you about it, guys. It, it 
just kind of slipped my mind. From the center of the Bermuda Triangle. Yeah. Guys? Guys? Yeah! Yeah! Now we turn to the real Ghostbusters Halloween special. So what are you doing for Halloween, Peter? Well, after our gig at the junior high this afternoon, I'm taking Lynn Stacy to a party at Donald Trump's place. The quintuple billionaire? The same. I think he wants to talk to me about buying the afterlife. How about you? Well, we're all going trick-or-treating. We thought maybe you'd like to come along. Even Slimer's going. He's been working all week on a costume. <laughs> Made it himself. Wait a minute. Slimer's a ghost, right? I mean, most people dress up as ghosts for Halloween, right? So what's Slimer going as? He says it's something really scary. You think this would go with green? Slimer? Yes, Pops? Don't move. Peter! <laughs> oh, I have been like a slime. Yes! Five years I've waited to do that! Five long years! Hi. I'm Lynn Stacy. I'm supposed to meet Peter here. Oh, uh, yeah. He was here a second ago. I'll get it. Yo! Baby! Hi, baby. Oh, yeah! <laughs> kind of girl. Honey bunch. Creep. What did I say? What did I do? Wait. Wait. I love you. Well, I, uh, we've hardly met. No, I was, uh, uh, she, uh, oh, boy. Never mind. Come on in. This isn't, you didn't. Slimer, you're dead. Oh, that's a racial Peter. You know, there are times I think life is one big bullet with my name on it. You, you are want us to, to do, do what? Simple. I want you to help me get rid of Halloween once oh. and for all. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. Well, I think I'll uh, just go lie down for a little while. Surely you don't like monsters and ghosts and such. No, absolutely not. We don't like ghosts at all. Oh. Well, not as a general rule. But that's got nothing to do with Halloween. That's an important day. We all like Halloween. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with kids dressing up as ghosts and monsters and demons? Letting their imaginations run rampant? Nothing wrong with that, I ask you? Nope. So who asked you? I tell you, Halloween is a menace. It must be stopped. That's why I've come to you for help. 
I am the chairman of Citizens United Against Halloween and lots of other stuff we don't like. Well, not to pry. I, I mean, I'm just an accountant, and, uh, and by the way, you probably paid too much for that suit, but uh, what's all this other stuff you're against? All comics, most television toys, many books, but mostly Halloween. It's fantasy. Not good for kids at all. It serves no purpose. Wrong. Magic. Mystery. They're important. Halloween is part of a tradition that goes back centuries. According to legend... Forgot to mention, we're against legends, too. Also, books about legends, they're not healthy. Hey! No, Mr. Crowley, eating too many candy bars isn't good for you, either. Anymore? Uh, uh, yeah, Egon, that's right. Uh, it's especially not healthy to hide them like that. <laughs> it's in his socks, Slimer. No, get away! No, get away! Well, we don't have any no, get away! For the record, interpret this as a no! Hello, we. What did it ever do for us? Well, I'll show them. Yes, Dr. Crowley. We have my machine. It's all ready. Yes, Dr. Crowley. Except the part we needed from the Ghostbusters. Oh. That's right. We needed their PKE meter to help focus the machine, didn't we? Don't worry. While they were talking to you, no one noticed me pick up this. You stole this, didn't you? Yes, Dr. Crowley. Stealing isn't good, but we need it. So much for that moral dilemma. Yes, Dr. Crowley. Trick or treat! In your face. Okay, everybody, next question. Hands up. Who thinks of trick or treat when you think of Halloween? All right. How many of you know where that comes from? Let me answer that. Egon? <clears throat> 2,000 years ago, October 31st was the end of the old year, and the ancient Celtic priests, called Druids, held a celebration. It was the birth of the festival we now call Halloween. It was... It was a party! When the sun goes down and the night grows cold And the wind is whistling through the trees It's a celebration running through the nation Dancing and rocking on Halloween Can you feel the magic moving? See the moon shine bright There's thunder in the streets, wonder in the shadows Afraid of the night Tell the old familiar story Mystery burning bright Let the magic shine inside you Let the darkness have no Halloween this year, Ray. I hate Halloween. Even now, it's starting. Children are putting on their fright masks, getting ready to go trick-or-treating. Well, not tonight. Tonight, everything changes. Tell me it's ready, Fairweather. Give me my electronic, positronic, anti-Halloween machine. Everything's ready, Dr. Crowley. All systems are go. Take this, Halloween! Fair weather, I feel positively poetic. Those signs have got to go. Not good for you, you know. Don't like jack-o'-lanterns. I say pumpkins shouldn't smile. Smash and bash and crash them. 
from the east side to the Nile. Trick or treat! We'll have no trick or treating up tonight. Get rid of those clothes, that candy. You'll be your sight. It's the electronic, positronic, anti-Halloween machine. And if you think I'm being mean, haha, <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Guys, what's happening? Egon, the lady asked a question. What's happening is trouble. Major, major trouble. Oh, I feel so much better now. Say goodbye to scary stories. Say goodbye to haunted houses. Goodbye to Irving, Vernon, and Poe. Goodbye, Dickens, Shelley, and Wall. Goodbye, Mr. Dragberry. Try not to take it personally. Ha 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 ha. Shh. Listen. You see, Fairweather, not a Halloween sound. Quiet as a test tube, eh, Fairweather? Fairweather? What the? What is it? What, what's happening? What's happening? Just what we were hoping for. <laughs> Get away. Well, why are you tormenting me? You worked for me, remember? No. We used you and your machine. It was easy preying on people's fears. We needed a mortal to open the door to the other side, and you were the one. All of this is your duty. We couldn't have done it without your help. You forgot the first rule of fanatics. When you become obsessed with the enemy, you become the enemy. You showed up! Those things, they're everywhere! We know! Believe me, we know! Well, isn't there anything we can do? Stay inside, lock the door, and don't come out until it's over. If it's ever over. So you're saying this is, like, uh, bad, right? I'm saying we're doomed. That counts. Still, we can't just give up. We only knew what caused all this. I have a theory, though I'd rather not say until I'm sure. No! What? What's that? My boss and yours. <laughs> Get this. Everything you see destroyed. The world is just destroyed. Let the sky explode. The things are blowing cold. I want to pulverize, disseminate, and if it's fair, violate. Police, mass, crash, break. Oh, it's fun to devastate. Now that the waiting time is done, look at the havoc you created, but we won. It took 2,000 years. Still don't get it. How can people still, still forget, forget it? But thanks for all of your assistance. No. Nothing yeah. pays off like persistence. Everything you see destroyed. The world is just a toy. When the sky explodes, the night winds are blowing cold. Oh, wow. I'm gonna pulverize, disseminate, and then it's fresh. I'm gonna hide, I'm gonna raise, smash, crash, break. Oh, it's fun to devastate. Hold on. Time for destruction. Hold on. For your instructor, it's all gonna change now. Then Google is back in town. He's back in town.
all over. The president has declared a state of national emergency. Do not, repeat, do not go outside. We, we are now in charge. The Halloween deal has been broken. So now we're back to stay. Get used to the idea, everybody. It's gonna be fun, fun, fun. So long for now, and have a swell day. I knew it. I was right. Yeah, you really should stand 10 feet back when you watch TV. Wait a minute. You mentioned something about a Halloween deal, right? Yes. 2,000 years ago, the Earth was infested by demons, but the Druids struck a deal. The worst of the demons would go off to the netherworld on one condition. Let me guess. They wanted us to remember them. Exactly. Halloween. But now Halloween is gone. Our old friend Crowley. Precisely. You saw how he made everything to do with Halloween just vanish? Yeah, I'd say that uh, constitutes breach of contract. If we don't restore Halloween and send these creatures back where they came from before midnight, the contract is broken permanently. Then we'll never get rid of them. What time is it now? 11.30. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. If all these things have come through and they're partying and getting together like we've seen, then wouldn't they want to break out all their buddies? The containment system! Janine! <laughs> Nobody gets past us! Uh-oh! Oh, no! only heard it once before, but that sounds like a containment unit exploding. Oh, man! Hey, it could be worse. What? <laughs> okay, so the firehouse is gone, Ecto-1's been destroyed, we're out of ghost traps, and we've only got another ten minutes of power left in our packs. Egon, you got a plan? Not a one. I do. These things came through a door. We gotta find it and close it. You got it? That way, the Times Square district. The place is crawling with them. Then that's where we have to go. He's nuts, you know. Yes, I know. Hey, heck, somebody's gotta keep an eye on them. Okay, who brought the dips and chips? <laughs> You looking for me, flesh heads? Help! Over here! Help! Over here! I'm sorry I stole your PKE meter! I... Peter, if we can get to the machine, we might be able to reverse it and restore Halloween. Uh, yeah, that's pretty close to my plan. Go for it. Ray and I'll distract him. Hey, Boogaloo! You're ugly and your mother dresses you funny. That's cute. I hate cute. Whoa. Whoa. Go! I, uh, uh oh! My turn. Whoa. How come we always get to distract these things? And how come they're always shooting at us? It's in your contract, Ray. Oh! This has got to be it. Hit it! They broke it! Even if we had the time, I couldn't put it back together. Now we're doomed! What? 
I... I can see your house from here. Oh, where's he gone? It's busted, all right. We've had it. Ghostbusters! My name's Emma. I live next door. Let me help you guys. Let's get him. No way. Look, it's dangerous out here. Well, I'm not afraid. That's not the point. No, wait. That is the point. That's exactly the point. Almost midnight. In two minutes, the promise humans made to honor Halloween will be forever broken, and we'll be here to stay. Not yet. Whoa! You forgot a little something. We have one last weapon. A child? <laughs> and what do you want? Trick or treat! <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Aren't you afraid of me? Nope. Thought we'd forgotten about that, hadn't you? Halloween is more than pumpkins, black cats, and trick or treating. It's about kids rediscovering wonder. That's why we play monsters, so we won't be afraid of monsters anymore. We take back the night once a year because it belongs to the children. They know the Halloween lesson. If you're not afraid, it can't hurt you. You wanted to see Halloween? You wanted proof that we remembered? Don't look in stores or pumpkin fields or bags of candy. Look right here. Tell me a Halloween story. Halloween's still here, alive and well. So don't you think it's about time you split? We got a contract, remember? As we like to say here in the Big Apple, beat it, slime head. No, no! What happened? Peter, what time is it? It's, uh, it's 8 o'clock. We got the evening back. Great! Hey, I gotta go, because my dad's taking me trick-or-treating. Well, I guess we earned the right to do it all over again. And we're gonna do it right this time, aren't we, Mr. Crowley? I have no idea what you're talking about. None of this was my fault at all. It just proves my point. Why, well, I bet I'll double my contributions after this, and I'll try again, and next time I'll... I'll... Yeah! Ow. The perfect beginning to the perfect night, eh, guys? Yeah, Winston, you got that right. So who's up for a little trick-or-treating? I mean, the night's young, magic's in the air, and we've already got the costumes. Yeah, you got it.
sensation that time, Slimer. <laughs> Slimer liked it. Let's try something a little different. Ready? Egon. Well, this circuit board was supposed to make him itch, not tickle him. I may have left out a resistor. Boy, point. this test isn't dangerous, is it? At this low energy level, no. What are you testing? Electroencephalographic responses in ghosts. I may have isolated the pleasure center. Egon, we're supposed to trap him, not entertain him. One, two, one, two. Huh? Feel the burn. That's it. All right. One, two. Now, quick. Check those muscles. Burn! I need more burn! One, two, one, two. You're looking good now, a little faster. All right. Pump that fire! <sighs> the incredible hunk! Oh, who am I kidding? I'm still a wimp. And only a week till beach time. This one should stimulate your sweet tooth, Slimer. Are you ready? Ready! <sighs> That ought to do the trick. Doesn't look good. He's starting to glow. How do you feel, Peter? Great! Absolutely terrific! What? Oh. What did you do to me? I was testing a new proton ray on Slimer and it apparently imbued you with some sort of physical powers. Ooh. Sort of like super strength. Fantastic! Just in time to hit the beach! <gasps> Good morning! Uh, pardon me a sec. They told me you were acting weird, but I didn't know they meant that you were... Ghostbusters? Going now, Lucian Lab. Yes, right away. You coming, Flyboy? Hey, why not? Duty calls. Ciao. Absolutely disgusting. You must do something. Hmm. This one's definitely not an art lover. No problem, sir. Looks like a standard ectoplasmic extermination job. Please be very careful of the statues. They're priceless. <laughs> there he is. That's one nasty gooper. <laughs> Spread out. Try for a clear shot. He's too close to the statues. Stand aside, guys. Let a pro handle. Peter, Slimer, go with him. You got it, Egon. Hey, Slime Burger. <laughs> Piece of cake, Spud. Yeah, look out! Try that again, Gooper Breath. <laughs> wow, did you see that? I saw it, but I don't believe it. Yeah, 
Skeleton pal, slime doesn't pay. Let him go, Peter. We've got him now. Not necessary, boys. Sparky's getting the personal touch. Well, that was a dumb stunt, Peter. That trap could have fried you. It's all in a day's work for Venkman. Getting out of hand. You're telling me the phone's been ringing off the hook. Everyone wants to interview Peter. Where is Vink Man anyway? Upstairs. Says he has a surprise for us. I'm convinced that Peter's condition is only temporary, but he won't listen to me. He won't listen to anyone. That's where you come in, Slimer. Huh? Yeah. We want you to keep an eye on him so he doesn't hurt himself. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Put these on and wait for our signal. Roger, eh? Guys. You better come see this. <gasps> well, what do you think? Oh, man. That's, uh, that's just... That's just great, Peter. You're jealous, aren't you? Again. Peter, we're only afraid that you'll hurt yourself. <sighs> oh, please, Ray. I am no longer just Peter Venkman, handsome but mild-mannered Ghostbuster. Now I am Venkman, Ecto Terminator, forged into proton fires, able to leap. Oh, brother. Peter, it's us, the guys. Save that for the reporters, okay? Not to worry, compadres. Ouch! I won't forget the little people who helped me get where I am today. Speaking of little people, have you considered a sidekick? Someone to do all the little things a superhero doesn't have time for. Oh, you mean like take my tights to the cleaners, handle my fan mail, stuff like that? Precisely. Hey, I like it. I thought you would. Peter? What do you think? Let's bust off some ghost super spot. The people of New York need us, faithful spot. and tons of mushrooms. Today on Oprah, teen dating tips with Venkman. But enough of the Ghostbusters, Ed. Let's talk about me. Oh, man. I think I'm gonna be sick. What's next? Venkman and Spud dolls? I seriously doubt it. These are the circuit boards I was testing when Peter got hit. Moments ago, they suddenly self-destructed. Why do I have the feeling this is bad news? Because it is. It indicates that the super strength mode is only temporary. Peter's powers could evaporate at any moment. Waldorf Astoria, sir. <sighs> uh oh, Peter, you're fading. Oh, no problems, bud. <clears throat> Just a little short circuit. Pardon me, sir, but there's a haunting at the Brooklyn Ironworks. This looks like a job for Vankman. And Super Spy. No way, Super Spud. You can count Vink Man down, but you can't count him out. Hey
this bug. Yeah! Oh, right! Yeah! Oh, he's a Got to, Spud. My public awaits. What's going on? I'm losing it. I really feel like a meathead. I mean, I forgot about my friends. Forgot we're a team. Sorry, guys. That's okay, Pete. Welcome back. Yeah! Yay, team! Hey, I'm starved. Who wants pizza? Me, 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 me! I'll take two. Peter! Uh, two. One for Bankman. Exact replica of a classic Hudson steam locomotive. Replica? Oh, did I work it? No, just needs a little cleaning. <laughs> so do I. Sorry, Winston. Ah, forget it, Spud, but hands off the train, okay? Okay, hands off. But you can wear this. Hey, hello, Winston. Where's the call, Peter? Penn Station. Description sounds like a class five. It's haunting one of the steam engines. Somebody's pulling your leg, man. What do you mean? What in the world? Uh, guys? I may not know much about trains, but that's not the Penn Station that was here this morning. It sure isn't. And where'd Madison Square Garden go? Actually, Peter, this is Penn Station. Or rather, a perfect facsimile. What are you talking about? Egon's right. It is Penn Station. The original Penn Station. They tore it down in 1963 to make room for Madison Square Garden and a smaller train station. Weird. We have to bust the grouper that did this and get the garden back. I've got tickets to Saturday's hockey game. Wow. Would you look at this place? Wow. My aunt brought me here when I was a kid. I thought it was big then, but I never saw it empty. Creepy. <laughs> This is extremely curious. The call indicated the class five, like Slimer. Precisely. No class five ghost could have brought back Penn Station. Man, I don't believe this. A genuine Hudson. Isn't it a beauty? Looks brand new. But what's it doing here? First things first. We still haven't figured out what here is doing here. It appears to be real. Sounds real, too. I see Penn Station, and I see an old steam locomotive. So where's the ghost? Better question. Who's gonna pay us for this job? Yeah! You fellas the Ghostbusters? Thought you might like to know, ghosts in the caboose. Hey, who shot that? Hang on, I've got a flashlight here somewhere. Uh, here it is. Holy cow! Uh-oh, I know that signal. It means we're leaving. Not me. I'm not going anywhere. Wow! This old Colbert is fast! Too fast! 
No train can accelerate like this. This one does. Welcome aboard, Ghostbusters. <laughs> Any questions? Who are you? Where are we going? Why are we going there? And most important, do we get those little bags of smoked almonds like on airplanes? Yeah, do we, huh, huh? I am the player. I play games for very high stakes. <laughs> Incredible. This meter can register any ghost up to a class 10. I'm in a class by myself, Dr. Spangler. Class dismissed, player. Snap <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one. I love it. I love all games. They are my reason to exist. And my newest game is playing with trains. Real trains. That's the one you're on now. But alas, for my train set to be complete, it needs real trees, real mountains, real buildings, and real people. <sighs> So, I came up with a wonderful plan. The first people to populate my little train world will be... you. Sorry, Charlie, but we already have day jobs. Fear not. I am a sporting ghost. So I'm going to offer you a sporting proposition. If you can make your way from this caboose up to the engine and stop the train, before it enters my ghost world, then you're free to go. Play long and you stand a chance. You have 30 minutes. <laughs> That's all, ghosts! Keep it short and to the point. I give it a thumbs up. Uh -uh. Thumbs down! Well, shall we see what's behind door number one? Man, it's a jungle out there. Not a jungle, Winston. Really a swamp. These train cars must be interdimensional containment units. Yeah, with bad plumbing. Keep an eye out for the player's game. Remember, he said play along and we stand a chance. Polywogs do. Also gives me an idea. Puddle up. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Okay, let's play. Huh? Tag, you're, you're it. it. You're it, Ray. <laughs> oh no, you're it, Winston. <laughs> oh, not me. Peter's it. Ah. Oh, I hate being it. Can I play too? Can I? Uh, can I? Can I? Can I play? Can I? Sure. You're in. What? No! I can't stand a sore loser. It worked. By winning, we opened the way to the next game. 
Swell. Wonder what this one's gonna be. Tar pits? A sewage treatment plant? I don't know, but we have less than 10 minutes left. Then let's discover the joys and toys behind door number two. giant pinball machine. Beat this score. Oh, great. We have to beat a million points. And we only have a hundred points. Oh, no. So what do we do? Just leave it to me. I used to shred pinball. Egon, go to the high bumper. Ray, take the low one. Wait until the ball comes at you, then jump. Good. Now, Peter, head for the far bumper. Come on, Baldy. Give me your best shot. Slimer! Quick, slam the floor between you and Peter. We're doing it! Wicked Winston Zedmore, the new pinball wizard! We're almost out of time. Hang on, guys. I'm stopping this baby. Oh, terrific. We're still playing games. <laughs> Congratulations. I never thought you'd make it this far, Ghostbusters. Unfortunately, time is running out. And you need a jackpot to stop the train. And you only stand a ghost of a chance. Ah! Let me try. Gotta let a man do it, Ray. A man? No, a man shouldn't do it. Slimer should do it. He's the key. Uh-huh, I'm a ghost. Exactly. Pull the handle. You won this time, Ghostbusters, but someday we'll play again. So when the player said we only had a ghost of a chance, he was telling us that only a ghost, like Slimer, could win. Hey, don't leave home without one. Speaking of the spud, he sure is having fun playing with your train, Winston. Uh, least I could do for him. Uh, where exactly is Slimer? <laughs> where else? The, the dining car! car.
Slimer, your deal. Hit me. Well, come on, Spud. That's how you play blackjack. Hit me. Nice, Janine. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. I love it. <laughs> Slimer, you want to see the mirror? Go 
ghost world. To the ghost world? Yeah. Oh, well, at least they seem friendly. Hey, there it is! Yeah. Let's tear their legs off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, it again. Maybe they're not so friendly. <laughs> I object hearsay. My client is a victim of mistaken identity. He's... Who are you, Slughead? Oh, Louis Tully, tax attorney. My card. Oops. <laughs> That's all right. I have more. Hey! Park the pattern, pal. Yeah, because we're going to flatten this slime slug's face. Hey, let's boogie, Louis. Yeah! Oh. How'd it go? Janine, sometimes we're so good, it's actually frightening. Unfortunately, this wasn't one of those times. Any word from Ray or Winston? Uh-huh. They're still mopping up that other job. Hey, where's Lewis? He's supposed to do my income taxes today. He was here a little while ago. Huh? <laughs> Slimer! Not a good move, Spud. Now clean it up. Hey, let out some slack, Slimer. What's your problem? No problem. Good. I think. Have you seen Lewis? Maybe he went bye-bye. Uh, what's with your voice, Spud? Catching a cold? <coughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Slimer! Oops. <laughs> Sorry. I expect to see this kitchen spotless in five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> Slimer, please turn the sound down. I'm trying to read. Uh, Janine, you sure Lewis didn't leave? Slimer thinks he went bye-bye. Not unless he snuck out when I wasn't looking. But why would he do that? So he wouldn't have to do my taxes. Well, let's see if there's anything on tape. Am I right or am I right? No, Lewis. Let's check the other camera. What in the world? Two Slimers? One Slimer, one bad news gooper. And there goes Lewis, right into the river without a paddle. Egon, we've got a problem. Fascinating. That mirror is some sort of gateway to the netherworld. You mean Lewis and Slimer are trapped inside it? It would appear that way. Where's the mirror now? I don't know. Janine, check the rest of the videotape and see if you can find out where that mirror went. You got it. Let's nail that phony Slimer. <laughs> Yo, slime sack! Party's over! Got him. How am I gonna explain this to the Tooth Fairy? Guys, I screamed the rest of the tape! My mirror has gone to the trash dump! Egon, how are we ever going to find one little mirror in all this junk? Keep watching your meters. The mirror should give off a very strong reading. Phew, not half as strong as this garbage. <laughs> well, Slimer, I think we finally lost them. <laughs> yeah, lost them. Excuse me. The mirror is directly beneath us. That really narrows it down, Egon. Come on, let's start digging. Oh. Yes, may I help you? Um, yeah, yeah, you can help us. <sighs> What's 
the fastest way out of here. That bus, but you better hurry. It's the last one this century! Oh boy, that was close. Uh-oh! Can't this bus go any faster? Faster? You want faster? Hey, I aim the police. End of the line. Everybody wants. Looky here. Got it. Way to go, Janine. Let's get that paid off. Driver! Lewis! That's Peter! Yeah, yeah, Peter! Come on, guys, move it! You can beat those wimpy goopers! Ugh. It was horrible, terrifying. I should at least get reimbursed for mileage. Spectral activity is zero. The gate is closed. Yay! Way to go, Slimer. Give me one just for fun. Yeah! I'll see your two banana, Slimer, and raise you a carrot stick. I'll see your carrot and raise you a macaroon. Yeah, I'll see your macaroon and raise you a rutabaga. I'll call. Who are you gonna call? <laughs> lucky this isn't Blackjack and you said hit me. Yeah! Yes, lucky. I did, Blackjack. and ghost. Check it out, guys. Mount Rushmore. Pretty impressive, huh? Awesome! Here we are. River Rota, South Dakota. Used to come here every summer when I was a kid. You are a kid? Look out! Cookies! Where's everybody going? Maybe this town isn't big enough for the 200 of us. Maybe. Yo, you work here, mister? Yep. Who are you? Zed Moore and Beckman. And Slimer. We had reservations. Paid in advance. Yep, you did. Room 7. Have a nice day. Something tells me we're the only people here. Great. That means more peace and quiet for us. Peter, people are bailing out of here like rats from the Titanic. Did it occur to you that they might know something we don't? Winston, good buddy, all I need to know is this is my hard-earned vacation, and nothing's gonna spoil it. Now, come on. Let's get unpacked. The day is young. You know, it doesn't get much better than this. 
Amen to that, brother. Give me that. You're scaring the fish, bud. Knowing the surf was up, huh, I would have brought my board. Hey, this is no joke, man. We've got ghosts. Yeah. Whoa. Come on. There are no ghosts in River Oda, South Dakota. Then what was it? What was it? Okay, even if it was ghosts, ignore them. Deal? Deal. Right, Spud? <laughs> so, what do we do next? <laughs> We're gonna hit the trail, boys. <laughs> Where the Ghostbusters roam. <laughs> and my hands are not slimy all day. Yippee -ki -yay -yay! Where seldom is heard that dreaded G word. Ghosts. And, and the skies are not quiet. Who said that? I did. Now get off my back. Whoa! <laughs> When it comes to singing, you guys munch wind. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, man. Oh. Now you boys go back where you came from. Yeah, take a hike. And we're not horsing around. <laughs> you can come out now, scab at the deer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've seen the last of them. <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch of total weirdos. But I like the little gooey green guy. He was a major league geek, Scabatha. But he's more fun to play with than you are, Claude. Now, now, no need to argue, children. We have our whole vacation ahead of us. Right. So let's get on with it. Come on! Man, am I beat. So are my feet. Mine, too. Guess we should start packing the car, huh? <laughs> this is one vacation I am not going to vacate. Huh? Claudie, does that mean the little ghost can stay? Shh! But why hang around here, man? The place is full of nasty ghosts. Yeah, no fun! It's gonna be fun, but first, it's gonna be war. War on those pesky goopers. Uh-oh. Listen, dear, they're playing our song. Ah, oh, yes. This is more like it. Dad, Mom! What, Clot? You know those flesh heads? <laughs> they're not leaving! What? <laughs> Don't you just love it when Dad gets mad? Yeah, does it! They want to play hardball, huh? Fine! I'll show them hardball! Get along, my feet now. Hey, what's with the proton packs, Pete? I thought you said no busting on this vacation. Right, but if those spooks come back, I'm nailing them. Now let's get some sleep. <sighs> yeah. I wanna grab a meal. <sighs> Here you go, Spud. Oh, thanks, my son. <laughs>
yours. Slimer? Yes, Slimer. Um, <laughs> thanks. Wanna play? <laughs> yeah, I don't go seek. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. One, two, uh -oh. um, five, three, eleven, <laughs> nine.
the princess, they carried her off to his castle tower. Oh, poor princess. Good <sighs> night, <sighs> Then it was time to go to bed like, uh, tired Ghostbusters should. No! Finish story! Ow! Oh. No! I'll finish it tomorrow, Slimer. Now hit the sack, Jack. Sweet dreams. Better be good or she's really in trouble. He should not have done that. Slimer, out of the way! Ah. 
Hold your fire! Yay! Wow. Back off, you green goblin goo! Just remain calm, Janine. Easy for you to say. Let it go, you creep! Oh! Just one clean shot, that's all I ask. It's too risky. Hey, that's a to fiery one. I, perhaps Master Orlox has a use for her. Fare thee well, fools! Disappeared into thin air. <laughs> Slimer, what were those class fives doing in the firehouse? Chasing the dragon. The, the dragon? dragon? He means me. This is all my fault. Something tells me this is going to be a long night. In my world, the realm of fantasy, I am the last dragon. So why were those two uglies after you? They work for the wizard Orlox. Orlox needs one final ingredient for his evil potion, a dragon's heart. <gasps> what a slime ball. Uh, no offense, but Describe this evil potion. It will make Orlox invincible so that he can rule our kingdom forever. Is that where they took Janine? To this realm of fantasy? Yes, sire. Then that's where we're going, too. Lead the way, big guy. This way, lords. You mean we can get to this realm of fantasy on a subway? What the? What is that? Check it out of here. Mine's going to be My guess is that we won't be taking this subway. Wow. Think what we could do with tokens. Quickly, call out me. Here it goes. To the realm of fantasy. Ah, sir. Man, I can get used to a place like this. We can sightsee later. Right now, let's find Janine. I think I just found her. Look at this. I hereby offer the hand of the fair maiden Janine in marriage to the knight who brings me the last dragon. Signed, Wizard Orlox. Hmm. This gives me an idea. But we'll need appropriate attire. Hey, no problem, Egon. What do you have in mind? Something more woodsy? Maybe a subtle yet strong statement in green so we don't clash with the trees? Actually, I was thinking of armor. Ah, I know just the place. This way. Oh, big deal. <laughs> so, how do we look? Yeah, cool, man. Really cool. <laughs> You are true knights. Let's hope Orlox thinks so. Now don't forget, Spud. When we give the signal, pop the trap. No problem, Sirewell. Come on, Peter. We have to hustle. Nobody say a word. The only way I'll ever get out of this rig is to call a plumber. Okay, little dragon. Show us where this Orlox hangs out. Right away, sire. Egon, I hope your plan doesn't depend on the element of surprise. Failed me. You let the dragon escape, and now you shall pay. I'll turn you into fleas on the back of a swine. Man, it's been a long time. And from now on, I suggest we keep it that way. Yo, wizard! I mean, Yon Wizard Orlox. We bring thee the last dragon. Indeed. In return, we awaiteth deliverance of the Mistress Janine, fairest of the fair, and a heck of a good secretary. Way to go, guys. I don't think if he's buying it. Keep a tight grip on that trap, Spud. Thank you, sir. Now my potion when I tend to business. Yes, Master Uh, hello? <laughs> Fire, guys. Right, let's hit him. 
Again, old ballast of fiends. <laughs> oh, cow. This guy's not kidding. Oh, new opponent. Major assist. No! Oh, oh. How about running for our lives? You may have something there, Winston. It's been a pleasure, peasants. But all good things must come to an end. Oh, don't you dare hurt them! I After all that, I'm just too wound up to sleep. How about finishing that fairy tale, huh? Mm, no thanks, Ray. What? Why not? Cause now I know how it ends. Ah, <laughs> Good night, Slimer. You see that? See what? A witch. I just saw a witch. I swear, it really. Yeah, right. Didn't I tell you to cool it on the coffee? Enjoy your pizza. Uh, thanks, pizza boy. Bye-bye. No! Uh, pizza, huh? No! There's something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Did you see a cat? Fair is the answer to both your questions. Uh, sorry, Egon. Bad pizza. We sure didn't do that. Phenomenal. 
What's going on? What can it be? Hey! Wow! Uh, good trick. One of yours, right? You got... Definitely not. I wish I had my pizza. Pizza! And it's hot for a change. It's gotta be magic. Magic pizza? Not the pizza, Lewis. The cat. Magic cheese! Slimer, where did you find this cat? This guy! Did he fall down the moon? It's a familiar. Of course. Familiar? You know this cat? No, no. It's a witch's familiar. A witch's magic cat. A familiar focuses a witch's supernatural powers. That's why when Slimer made a wish, it came true. Oh, that I understand. Huh? I wish for a billion dollars, tax-free. Oh, and uh, make it in 20s and 50s, no small change. Hey, nothing happened. Okay. It doesn't work with humans, Lewis. A witch's familiar is attuned only to supernatural beings, like Slimer. <laughs> but no more wishes, Slimer. No. Huh? Having unlimited wishes could prove extremely dangerous. Aw, oh, kitty sleepy. <laughs> Slimer's sleepy, too. The cat can sleep here in the kitchen until we figure out what to do with it. Night now, KK. I wish I had... Slimer? Just kidding. Places to go, stomachs to fill, you know. Chop time, chop time, chop time, chop time, chop time. This is a repeat of experiment number seven zero zero four, which was so rudely interrupted earlier tonight. Go! What the? Okay, pal, we're gonna try one more time. Open the hangar doors. Here comes the airplane. I've heard of fast food, but this is ridiculous. Ooh, quick, guys. Stop them before they get to the beats. I hate beats. Halt. None shall pass. Out of the way, turkey. Uh-oh, that explains it. The cat must be with Slimer. And Slimer's wishing for food. Let's play. 
Wishing for toys. Let's play. Ah! Yeah! Ah! Oh, yeah, it's only plastic. Toys will be toys. We have to get to the bunk room and awaken Slimer. You ain't going nowhere. Not until you eat every last bite. Heads up! That's the other thing Slimer likes. Christmas. Christmas. Hey guys, look, it's snowing outside. He, he must be dreaming of a white Christmas. I smell a red. Who's got my cat? We gotta wake Slimer before he wishes for anything else. Where's my cat? Oh, great. First Christmas, now Halloween. What's next? The Easter Bunny? Let me talk to her. Madam, I am a scientist, and without mutual cooperation, we are facing imminent annihilation at the hands of your familiar. Hey, what's this night blabbing about, eh? Oh, he says if we don't get into that bunk room pronto, everybody, including your cat, is gonna be kitty litter. Well, why didn't you say so? Hop on! Now what? Oh, we should have known. What's Christmas without... Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! And have you all been good boys and girls this year? Can it be a breath? You're out of season. We gotta get in there. Oh, ho! Oh. I know someone who's getting cool in their stocking. Look, Santa, step aside and I'll do your taxes for free. Ho, ho, ho! Now, now, I'm not moving till someone tells me what they want for Christmas. Besides, I don't pay taxes. I'm Santa Claus. I know what I want, Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Very good, Egon. What'll it be? A fire truck? A jerky Joe doll? I want you to please go away. My, my. This job is getting harder every year. But I am Santa Claus. Let's go. What's he wishing for now? With Slimer, who knows? Iris, Iris. Huh? Oh, what's up? Mission accomplished. Wow, thanks for rescuing us. Not to mention the neighborhood. Yeah, 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 I'm not all bad, so sue me. Anyway, Twinkie and I gotta go. Oh. Oh, boy, what a night. Yes, I can't say I'm sorry to see that cat go. Come on, Spud. The wishing well is permanently closed. Time to turn in. What is this? I look nice now.
What you reading, Winston? It's about Jonathan Tightly, an eccentric millionaire. This guy was so greedy, he wanted all his money buried with him when he died. Wow. Was it? Nope. Government got it for back taxes. Funny what money can do to people. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm starting to regret buying Slimer that lottery ticket. <laughs> Wrong number. Come on, Slimer, lighten up, will ya? Your chances of winning the lottery are about... Precisely 5,872,265 to 1. I'll get it. Yeah, I'll get it, I'll get it! <laughs> oh, hey, chill out, Spud. Good morning, sir or madam or whatever. I... No, thanks, bud. Word from the wise, Spud. You'll never win that million bucks in a million years. Save yourself some stress. Give it up. <gasps> Me! Hello, Ghostbusters. You got it. They're on their way. Time to hit the road, guys. You coming, Slimer? He wants to be here when his million bucks arrive. <laughs> <laughs> it's an armored truck? In front of our place? Hey, you don't think... Nah. Hello! Hello! Slimer, that was the doorbell. The doorbell? Oh, <laughs> Yes? Yeah. Hello, sir. Uh, is a, a Mr. Slimer home? Yeah, that's me. 
Lottery number 427699. Check. Uh, congratulations. You just won a million dollars in cash. Hey, check this out. Peter, you been bugging Geraldo again? No, this looks bigger than Geraldo. That's all for now, folks. Thanks for coming. Guys, you'll never guess what happened. <laughs> you won? This game is twice as much fun when you play with real money. I'll give you a hundred thousand dollars for the Statue of Liberty, Slimer. Uh uh, no, nope. two hundred thousand. Come on, Spud. You only paid me fifty thousand dollars for all my Beverly Hills hotels. <laughs> huh? Not more reporters. No, more pizza. I could eat a yeah. Oh, yeah. Revolting. Interesting. Oh. Oh, the pizza party says we should check into the rubber room hotel. We've been told to go worse places. <laughs> Much worse. And often. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Aw, oh, don't worry, Slimer. Some sweet sounds from this new Rick you bottle cheer me up. Hey, I don't know about you guys, but it's sure cheering me up. And down, and up, and... Yeah, it's supposed to be Debbie Gibson. Forget the tunes. What do you think of these new threads Slimer bought for me? Am I it or what? You look terrific. <laughs> oh! Must be that hot Australian group, huh? Weird. Seems like everything Slimer buys with his lottery money turns out screwy. Oh, come on. A few coincidences, that's all. Dad! Huh? Coincidences? Sure. This bud bought me these new threads, and you don't see anything wrong with these, do you? Oh, uh, speaking of threads, you've got a loose one here. Okay, you made your point. Now what? Come on, come on, come on, come on! Is it cool or what? Oh my gosh! <laughs> A new echo! Slimer, she's she's beautiful. All right. <laughs> Man, I gotta try this baby out. Fasten your seatbelts, guys. We're riding in style. Oh, it's not your fault, little guy. You thinking what I'm thinking? Hmm. Ghostbusters, hold, please. Ghostbusters, hold on, please. One moment, please. Hello. Please hold. Be right with you. It's all clustered. Hold on. <sighs> Eight calls in the last hour. Gremlins and poltergeists popping up all over the city. What's going on? I have an idea about that. Slimer's locker? So he's sleeping in there again. So what? It's not Slimer I'm concerned about. It's this money. I believe this is the source of the spectral contamination that's causing us and the city of New York so much grief. No way! No, 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 no! 
I'm sorry, Slimer, but this money has been imbued with supranormal properties that are contact transferable. Huh? huh? He says the money's haunted, and it spreads bad luck to whoever touches it. Oh, ah! no! So what do we do now? Well, we could burn it. Oh, burn my money? Hey, 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 you can't do that. No, we can't. Destroying money is a federal offense. We have to decontaminate it or get rid of it. So let's decontaminate it and go shopping. Yeah, the top go shopping. Whoa! Decontamination is not a viable solution. We'll have to trace the curse back to its source. Readings are getting stronger. Steady as she goes, Winston. We have 90% of the problem contained right here. If we can return this contamination to the source, we can keep the damage to a minimum. You mean we have to give up the money? No. Unless you have a better idea. Don't rush me. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh-oh, guys. Look there. Bad news. Very high readings. This is probably the source. Spread out. The focal point is around here somewhere. Whoa! Winston, check this out. Well, I'll be. Jonathan Tightly, the guy in the book. The armored truck must have skidded in here with Slimer's money. I'll bet Tightly's spirit is behind this. Oh, come on, Ray. That's a bad bet, even with all the Slimer's money. Then don't believe me. Ask him. What? Me? Hey, we knew the zapping around here, pal. Watch this, Smokey. Here's how it's done. Uh -oh. Peter, dump your pack. It's overloading. What's his problem, anyway? Years ago, the state took Titan's money for taxes. Slimer's lottery money comes from the state. Titan wants it back. Let's do it. My money. My money. <laughs> Come easy, ghost bud. You know, money's great, Slimer, but it's not everything. It isn't? You still have us. Oh, yeah, the guys. Congratulations, guys. The call stopped around midnight last night. So, what to do with the money? Let's just say we made a deposit. Yeah, a deposit. Yes, at the standard rate of ectoplasmic decay, we should be able to reclaim it in about... 700 years. What about all the money Slimer already spent? Won't it still cause problems? When Tightly got his money back, the curse lost its power. <laughs> Not another lottery. Nope. Just pepperoni. Grocery shopping is Friday. Annual proton pack maintenance is due. Oh, almost forgot. Two women are coming this morning to interview for temporary secretary. We'll handle it, Jane. Yeah, just have a great vacation. Are you sure? Janine, go. We'll be fine. Well, most of us anyway. So, who wants to interview the two lady job applicants? <laughs> Ladies are my department. Oh, duty calls. Oh, you little lady killer, you. I'm Mrs. Attermeyer here for the temp job. Uh, right. Come on in. Hmm. So, where do I interview? Uh, I just remembered Slimer and I have some spring cleaning to do. And those proton packs aren't going to fix themselves. What? Oh, uh, yeah, we better uh, get to him right away. Uh. Now, 
Oh, I type 150 words per minute, no errors. I take perfect dictation, and I have 22 years experience. Period. So, do I have the job or not? Well, Mrs. Adelmeyer, I guess the job is, uh... You can't give her that job. No way, man. Not until you interview her. Yeah. <sighs> Hi there, sugar. Well, I see spring cleaning and equipment maintenance seem to have hit a snag. I was uh, just on my way to. I had to get. Um... Bye bye, boy. See you later, Dixie. Uh, Dixie, I would have. Well, anything for you, Mr. Egon, honey. Uh, thanks. Now, where's that pesky little old D? <laughs> oh, there must be a silly little old E here somewhere. There! Yeah. Why, thank you, boys. Oh, don't mention it. Yeah, it was, uh, it was nothing. Yeah, we got 25 more where that one came from. Going up to the kitchen for a little lunch. Y'all want to watch the phone? Uh, gosh, I, uh, I better go get some more cleaning fluid. Good idea. Uh, I'll, I'll just keep working here. Right. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me! Thank you, sugar. Are you sure? Surprise! Sweets for the sweet. Aren't you a dear? I just love chocolate to death. She's crazy about me, Egon. Simply crazy. Slimer? Yuck. Hmm. Look at this phone message Dixie wrote. Is this a seven or a nine? Looks like a three. Or a sixteen. Maybe you'd better ask Dixie. Toodaloo, boys. See y'all tomorrow. Dixie! Dixie? So she can't type fast. So, who cares? Forget the typing. She's strange, Peter. Very strange. The only thing strange about her is that she hasn't flipped over me yet. Which proves that while she may not be a great secretary, she does have taste. Well, let's vote on it. All in favor of keeping Dixie, raise your hand. Yeah! yeah all right! All right. Yeah. 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 Majority rules, Egon. Dixie stays. Morning, boys. Morning, Morning Dixie. Dixie. Oh, Egon, that is truly amazing. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Dixie. You're the smartest Ghostbuster of all, aren't you? Well, I, uh... Smart man tickle my fancy. Egon, darling. Earthquake? 
It's supernatural. That does it. Get the spare throwers. Yeah, you better looking for these. Oh, ego. What? What happened? Well, I'll tell you what happened. You kissed our baby sister. And where we come from, that means it's time to get married. Right, Jim Bob? Uh, uh -huh. Married? But she's a ghost. Yeah, Egon can't marry her. He's a real-life person. Sort of. Don't you worry nothing, Sonny. We'll fix that. Y you mean... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hold it! Nobody harms one hair on Egon's pointed little head. Yeah, right. Nobody. Quiet, or you'll be joining him. Well, no need to get upset, gentlemen. I'll go willingly. Huh? What? No, what are you But where I come from, the condemned man always gets a last wish. Is that all right? Depends. What kind of wish? I'd like to, uh, bake the wedding cake. Oh, Egon, honey. How sweet. Oh, Jim Bob, see what's taking my sweetie so long with that cake? Sure, Dixie. Hey, lover boy. Ah! Egon! Oh, no. What is he? I'm afraid so. <sighs> Oh, poor Egon. Oh, he was a true friend. Look, it's Egon's spirit. Oh. Egon, darling, now we can get married. Over my dead buddy. That's right, honey. Enough messing around. Let's get on with the wedding. Hit it, boys. Whatever happened to the simple custom of throwing rice? Boy, they really go all out, don't they? Personally, I like theme weddings. Oh, darling, time to tie the knot. First, Egon says he has a little song he wants to play, uh, especially for you. Right, Egon? Oh, you little love mother. One, two, three. Bravo! Bravissimo! Excellent! Oh! <laughs> well, I guess I can live with that. Come on, you gone, honey. Sly, I, I mean, uh, Egon says he wants you to have a bouquet of his favorite flowers. Why, that's very, very sweet. Did you get the wolf bane? Yeah. Oh, Egon, I do believe I'm gonna swoon. Oh, my goodness gracious! Hot diggity. Looks like I'm next in line to get... Excuse me, darling. I had to fix my face. <sighs> but I can live with that. What's he saying now? He wants to know if he can give you a good luck kiss before the ceremony. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. Well, maybe just a teensy tiny one. Yeah, yeah. You think he liked it? Don't even think about it. I can live with your stupid music. I can even live with these awful flowers. But I cannot live with this yuck. Come on, boy. We 
Way to go, Spud. Yes, a brilliant performance, Slimer. Stop playing. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. Easy. Um, Jan Lori, Big Bacon, Fine Ball Game, and lots and lots of... Egon, what is it with you and Secretary? They all love you, big guy. I mean, first Janine, then Dixie, and now our new Secretary. Peter, please. Boys, wait! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You forgot your sweaters! Thank you, Mrs. Spangler. And here's some chicken soup in case she's get hungry. Thank you, Mrs. Spangler. Did you all wear clean underwear? You never know when you might be in an accident. Mom, we have to go. And if you're gonna be late, cool! Yes, Mrs. Spangler. of these tax forms. Sorry, Lewis. Uh, if I don't have these in the 5 o'clock mail, it's gonna be my neck. And everything below it, I'll be at the coffee store. You keep an eye on things. Okie dokie, Lewis. You, go get me spider legs. Get me spider legs. Yeah. Now stay out of my face, Weevil Wits. Uh, hi, uh, Spider Legs. A long time no see. You're looking good. What are you pea brains waiting for? The boss lady wants out! But, but, but how? Pull something. Find something. Push something. Got it?
Here before you can say who you're gonna call. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Forget it, Slime Watt. It's spook fruit. Spider legs didn't overlook nothing. Yeah, nothing except that Ghostbusters. And we're gonna fix that right now. Gummy, gummy. Kidnap a ghost. Another ghost, judging from the slime. They demand the release of the spirit called Spider Legs from our containment unit. Spider Legs? I remember her. She was one mean goober. We only have till midnight. We're supposed to signal that Spider Legs has been released by requesting a certain song on Moon Man's radio show, or we'll never see Slimer again. Play a song on the Moon Man's radio show? That is the dumbest plan I've ever heard. Yeah, but we gotta do what they say. The Spud's depending on us. Oh, poor little Slimer. I'm hungry. Tough to Hey, what's with the big mess? Clean up the joint. Wasn't us, boss. It was uh, the fly. Only flies around here are in your brain. Now, I'm gonna listen to the Moon Man, and I don't wanna be disturbed. Understand? Uh, yeah, right, okay, boss. Hey! Ghostbusters will be mad if you don't feed me. Uh, they will? Uh-huh. Real mad! <laughs> That's it! All gone! Yeah! You, you cleaned us out! Okay! Let's play time! Yep! Miss me! Oh, yeah? Just you wait! Hey, Abby! The head's fallen, and your main two is calling! Ha! Woo! What are you doing? Wait, hey, boss. Wanna fight? Catch me! Here she is. Spiderlings, Class 8, Full Torso, Demonic Spectre. She definitely won't get out early for good behavior. We may not need, I need to get her out at all. Uh-oh, he's got that scientific look on his face. If we can determine the precise frequency at which Slimer's ectoplasm resonates, we can locate him with sound waves. Egon, that's great! But we need a test sample of his slime. Oh, no problem. It's all over the copy machine. Here's our slime sample. Okay, Ray, start increasing the frequency. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at that! More, Ray, more! Hold it there, that's the perfect frequency. Lewis, get it on tape. Film at 11. Roger! Hmm. 
Leon, I presume we're standing here reinventing the lava lamp for a very good reason. Absolutely. Now let's go see the moon man. Gentlemen, time to rock and roll. Oh, I love it when he talks here. The Moon Man has something special for all you cats and kittens out there. Oh! Here's a personal request from the coolest of the cool, Ghostbusters! Thanks, Moon Man! I always wanted to do that. Come on, baby! Let's do the twist! That's it! That's the signal! On, They're letting spider legs out of the cool! We did it! We did it! Take me by my little hand. This is in an ultrasonic range, Moon Man. Beyond human hearing. Only Slimer will know it's being played. And I sure hope the spot is tuned in. That ain't no dance. <laughs> Your daddy is. <laughs> <your mom. laughs> Quit that ding dong. He's trashing Spider Lake's dad. And she's gonna trash us. Stop him. <laughs> Come on, boy. <laughs> I think we got something. May, he got. Strong readings near Washington Square. We're on our way here. Hold on, music lovers. I just spotted a warehouse that's really rocking and rolling. That's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sign of the spot yet. Oh boy, what a Give you a headache, you little slime wad. to see you guys. 
real anxious. the 50s, flat tops, custom cars, love shops, open roads. Ray, you weren't even born till 1959. Yeah, born too late. Oh, boy. Life sure was simpler back then. Actually, Ray, there is no hard proof of that. Every decade has its own inherent challenges. Well, I'd still take the 50s over now, any day. Me too. Check them out, Ray. Cool, Daddy-o. Yeah, cool, Daddy-o. Maybelline. Why can't you be true? Oh, Maybelline, why can't you be true? You don't start back doing the things you used to do. <laughs> Janine? What's wrong? No, guys! Don't worry, it's a matter of game. Janine, Janine, get a grip. How could what happen? This. It's from the mayor. Due to increasing traffic needs, the city's going to build a new expressway through our neighborhood. So? So they're going to tear down this whole block, including the firehouse. What? what? But that's crazy. What are we supposed to do? The mayor suggests we start packing. Uh oh! Oh! <laughs> How you feel, Spud? I'm gonna miss this old place too. Yeah, a lot of swell memories here. Hey, less yakking and more packing, huh, guys? What is this? A John King convention? We have to observe certain safety precautions, Peter. We're bleeding off the energy from these traps. It won't take long. Yeah, Pete. You wouldn't want the moving van to hit a pothole and boom, take out a city block. Why not? Save the mayor the trouble. Peter, don't! Come on, nothing's gonna blow up. Man, what happened? Bad call, guys. Sorry. No real harm done, right, Egon? I'm not sure. Something doesn't feel quite right. Yeah! The containment's gone. Everything's gone. Wow. Is that our alarm? Sounds different. Uh-oh. Huh? Yeah! All right, hustle up there. All right, let's move it out. Come on, hustle there. Who are those guys? Where's Ecto? And where's Janine? She was working late. Ladies and gentlemen, announcing the new 1959 Edsel. Edsel? Man, this is getting weirder by the minute. There must be a logical explanation. And that's all the news on April 10th, 1959. Good evening, everyone. April 10th, 1959? Wow. Somehow we've actually gone back in time. Probably happened when that trap blew. Truly incredible. Then this is our firehouse? When it really was a firehouse? Affirmative. We're in the good old days. The 50s. Ha <laughs> ha, fantastic. Cool, daddy -o. Let's slide, guys, and check out the hats. Yeah, yeah, check out the hats. The hats? Egon, I hate it when you get that look. Now, what's wrong? We're trespassing in time, Peter. Our presence here could disrupt the natural order of things. Is that bad? I don't know. 
Yes. What do you think, Daddy O's? Speaking of natural disorders. Am I cool or am I cool? Yeah, real cool, Radio. And enough grease left over to lube a car. I don't believe it. I'd know that sound anywhere. Ecto. It's Ecto. Ecto. Fantastic. She's brand new. Are you a friend of the deceased, sir? Excuse me? Oh, man. Hang in there, Ecto. Things are gonna get better. <laughs> Bloopers, six o'clock. <laughs> what kind of ghosts were those? Fifties ghosts. Weren't they neato? Nope. <laughs> Bud? Mr. Maldu. These bizarre ghost sightings began just one hour ago and have already reached epidemic proportions. <laughs> All of Manhattan now seems to be haunted. One hour ago. That's precisely how long we've been here. So? This is all our fault. It's a ghost! A ghost! Oh! Come on, Egon. Are you saying we caused this ghost invasion? Yes. We don't belong in the 50s. By being here, we're putting a strain on the space-time continuum. Apparently, it's torn a hole in the time fabric through which ghosts are entering. And the only way to close the hole is to go back to our own time? Precisely. Okay, I'll go for the big spin. How? Back through our ecto trap. Hmm, we have a problem. I hate when you say that, Egon. First, the trap must be recharged to the precise power level at which the original accident occurred. That will take time. Oh, great. What do we tell these guys? The truth. We're Ghostbusters and we're from the future. Would you believe that, Ray? Uh, guess not. Hi. Huh? We're just here to, uh, observe. You okay? Mister, there are thousands of ghosts out there, and we're losing the war. Engine Company 93. More ghosts? Where? Guys, are we gonna just stand by and let these men fight our battles? No. no. Are we still Ghostbusters? Yes. yes. Chief, do you have a power generator on your truck that'll recharge this thing? Yes, but what is it? We'll explain on the way. <laughs> Those traffic's getting heavier in this direction. Yes, I believe we're getting close to the source of these hauntings. Something real weird dead ahead. This is the hole, all right? Hey, somebody give me a hand here. What are you doing? We're gonna drive these ghosts back where they came from. Give us some pressure. You heard the man? Hook him up. Just a little longer, Slimer. It's almost charged. Under control here, Egon. Take your time. I lie, Egon. Hurry it up. Whoa! 
That's it. We have full charge. Zingiga, seal the hole! Egon, do it! Gentlemen, wish us luck. I hate when you say that. Firehouse, ours or theirs? Guys, look! Gentlemen, we are home. All right! Hey, Winston, all right! But we have to move out in the morning, remember? <gasps> Janine! Guys, guys, we don't have to move! What? The mayor just called. Our firehouse has been declared a historical monument. Nobody can touch it now. I don't get it. It seems some firemen who worked here years ago were big heroes. They saved the city from a terrible ghost invasion back in, um, um... 1959? Yeah, 1959. How do you know? Hmm, must have seen it somewhere. You know, you guys, I think the good old days are right now. I hear you, man. Yeah, yeah, right now. Now! Oh, Maybelline. Maybelline. Why can't, Why can't you be true? true? Why can't you be true? Oh, Maybelline. Christmas tree or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Christmas is the time for giving. So let's see your cash, Jack. 
Not a chance, mortal scum! Simple good mornings, bud. Sorry, guys, but everything is broken. I could have sworn these lights were on a second ago. Egon, we've got a power failure. We better check the containment chamber. Did you see that? The lights went out when we came in, just like upstairs. It could be a short circuit. Then why don't our flashlights work? And why is the containment okay? I don't know. Let's take a closer look. Even the alarm's not working. He's gonna blow! Let's get out of here! Very unusual. Unusual? Man, this is weird. Dead battery? Yeah, dead as that proton pack. That does it. I'm gonna find a payphone and give the power company a piece of my mind. What? How do you like this? Brand new and well run. Yeah, you lousy car. Hey, what gives it? This is more than a simple power failure, guys. Some sort of force has singled us out. Anything we get near goes... You'll pardon the expression, Slimer. Dead. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, dead. The question is, who or what is behind this phenomenon? Hey, how come the TV's working? And what's GMTV? Hello, boys. The Postmaster! As you are aware, I have rendered you powerless. You busted your last ghost. Now it's my turn and you are helpless to stop me. I'm coming to get you and take you to the ghost world, where you will be my personal servants until you grow very, very old. See you soon. <laughs> Definitely a type A personality. Egon, you do have a scientific way out of all this, right? <clears throat> uh, not yet, no. I'll need some time to study the problem. We don't have time. You heard the Ghost Master, he's on his way. And without floors, we'd better be someplace else. Yeah, yeah, where are you? First thing we do is find some wheels. Enlighten me, guys. If this stuff doesn't work anymore, why are we lugging it around? With luck, we'll need it later. Against the Ghost Master, we're gonna need a lot more than luck. Hear me, children! Bring me the Ghostbusters! Hey, 
What gives? Morning, Mr. J. Morning, Mr. J. Ghostbusters. Who turned out the lights? You wouldn't believe us if we told you. convinced I keep turning the lights off. You figured this mess out yet? Partially. The Ghostmaster has placed a force field around each of us that extends precisely 40 feet in all directions. So that's why everything goes dead when we get near it. If we can trap and contain the Ghostmaster, the force field will vanish. That's a big if, Egon. According to who's who in the spirit world, the Ghostmaster rates as a class 11. 11? Right. Even if we could use our traps and throwers, we could never hold them. <laughs> Weakening. Hmm. Very interesting. Did you hear that, Ray? Yeah. And it gives me an idea. Take a hike, Bubble Brain. Hey, haven't you heard? Lee's a crowd. Whoa! Hey, let go! Wouldn't you guys rather be picking up girls? Oh, man! <laughs> two down, two to go. After all, I wouldn't want to break up a matched set. <laughs> Stop right there, Ghostmaster. Why not? If it humors you. Every condemned prisoner should have a final wish, eh, children? <laughs> Where is the fourth one? And that slimy little pet of yours? I'd rather discuss the force field you put around us. Sorry, I never divulge trade secrets. Now, let's get this over with, shall we? Where are the others? Up here, pal! Yeah, up here, pal! <laughs> You disappoint me, Ghostbusters. I expected something more ingenious than a pile of bricks. After all, sticks and swords can't move my bones. <laughs> yeah, we know. Yeah, we know. Yeah! Ah! 
Chief, watch a knucklehead. You really burst my bubble. Yeah. How'd you do it? Simple, actually. Through observation and calculation. And when Slimer told us the Ghostmaster was weakening, well, we knew we had a chance. Yeah, I did good, huh? Yes, you did, Slimer. Then it was just a matter of keeping the Ghostmaster in the trap 40 feet away from us so the trap would work. Well, team, looks like we're back in business. Hey, pass the popcorn, Slimer. Sure, well. Boy, sure is nice now that the Ghostmaster's on. Uh-huh. Oh, no! That's impossible. We put him in the containment. Peter, you did put him in the containment, didn't you? Yeah. I mean, I think so. <sighs> what you didn't do, Peter, was pay the electric bill. Oh, is that all? Silly me. <laughs> guys? Now wait, guys. It was an honest mistake. <laughs> 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 Poulter guys packing. Hmm. Ray, it's too early for cute. What's that trap doing there? Oh, uh, I don't know, Peter. We'll bring it along. Nail him before he reaches the canned fruit! Hey, where'd it go, Slimer? Be ashamed of yourself, bud. Huh? Eating all those veggies and not sharing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, green guy, you did good work in there. Chucky, but just once. All right!
salad bar again? Very funny, Janine. Slimer, about this trap. Huh? Oh, uh, what trap? Uh, this trap? Yes, this trap. Will you please take it down to the basement? We'll empty it later. Okie dokie, Egon. <laughs> and be careful. It's not a toy, you know. I know, I know. Oh, I know. Stop! Quit it! Back to work. Gee, you'd think they'd never seen man eating furniture before. I laugh! Close it down! Okay, Egon, come clean. Have you been playing mad scientist again? Peter, I haven't run an experiment for a week. This is a total mystery to me. Uh, Egon? Uh, you see, um... The containment! I see it, but I don't believe it. Bogey at 12 o'clock! Got him! <laughs> <laughs> Crisis here. 
There's too many of them. They just keep coming. So let's weld it shut with a little of Dr. Beckman's personal proton potion. No, it's too risky. If you blast the hole in it, all the ghosts will escape. But perhaps there's a thrower modification that will extract the harmful effects without reaching the containment. Come in. Did you say come in? I'm getting here. You're welcome, Peter. Now, would somebody please tell me what this was all about? Well, it's quite simple, really. Elements of the ghost we caught at the store leaked out of the faulty trap. <laughs> and when we brought the trap back here, part of the spirit's essence infected all of this. And it followed us home in an effort to reassemble itself. Slimer? <laughs> I a bad puppy. I promise. I promise. Never to play with the equipment again. Never play with the equipment again. Close enough. All right, Slimer. You're forgiven. I am? <laughs> you bet, Spud. And to prove it, we even have some equipment you can play with. You do? Clean up time. <laughs> with a little help from your friends. Oh, right. Ha, ha, ha. 